My baby mama, almost y'all support. Can't see my kids, so I stay in coke. It's my baby mama, she be riding Lexus, finding sugar daddies, and doing setups. It's my baby mama, almost y'all support. Can't see my kids, so I stay in coke. It's my baby mama, she be riding Lexus, finding sugar daddies. And doing setups. Mm. It's my baby mama. I'm on child support. Can't see my kids, so I stay in coke. It's my baby mama. She be riding Lexus, finding sugar daddies. Mm. And doing setups. It's my baby mama. I'm on child support. 
can't see my kids, kids. so I stay in coke. coke. It's my baby mama, Terrorist. she be riding Lexus, Lexus. finding sugar daddies, oh. and doing setups. Mm. Riding around, trying to play the Romans, innocent with an evil soul. In public, wearing fake hair lows, behind closed doors, she rocked them horns. I moved on, she wanna teach me a lesson. Can't see my kids, man, man, I'm stressing. Couldn't see my son to give me his present. She got married to teach me a lesson. Telling people she did nothing wrong. Knowing that well since I moved on. Thought that money would keep me home. Hell no, nah, hell no, nah, bitch, I'm gone. I don't know what you lost your mind. Try to say my name, but I know your kind. Saying I'm a deadbeat, bitch, you lying. Fighting in court, man, man, I'm trying. To be a father to my kids. She focused on the wrong shit Worried about another bitch Instead of us called co parent Put my kids in grown folks' business Tell them lies, bitch, bitch, you wicked Split personality, oh yeah, you twisted Never thought I'd go through this It's my baby mama I'm on child support Can't see my kids So I stay in coat It's my baby mama She be riding Lexus Finding sugar daddies And doing setups It's my baby mama I'm on child support can't see my kids, so I stay in coat. It's my baby mama, she be riding Lexus, finding sugar daddies, and doing setups. It's my baby mama, almost y'all support. Can't see my kids, so I stay in coat. It's my baby mama, she be riding Lexus, finding sugar daddies, and doing setups. It's my baby mama, almost y'all support. Can't see my kids, so I stay in coat. It's my baby mama, she be riding Lexus, finding sugar daddies, and doing setups. Stand, please. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. This honorable court now stands adjourned, sign it. I, God save the state and this honorable court. Yeah. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Yeah. We're going to definitely uh, cook the day. We're definitely going to talk. We're going to definitely get some knowledge some wisdom when it comes to this because again a lot of people sit back and say these baby mama tears don't exist these baby mama tears uh, is a fig a, a, a figma of your imagination this what you're talking about is just you mad because you want you don't want to be a father and you have to take care of your kids and you got to pay child support yeah of course of course of course today what we're going to talk about is tj clemens T.J. Clemens, yes, um, played for the NFL, All-American, Pro Bowl, and stuff like that, and I believe he played for the Vikings. Um, he played for a couple of teams. I believe he played for the Oakland, Oakland Raiders. I don't even think he's 30 years old yet. I think he's in his late 20s. And what happened was he's been alienated. He's married. He got, I believe, five kids. He got triplets. And he found faith. What do y'all, what I mean by he found faith? Uh, he's seeking faith. And I believe it's under Pastor, um, Pastor Dow, um, faith. I think it's Israelite, uh, Salome, under the Israelite, the Sabbath day. And one thing I will tell y'all. When I was, you know, I was born into being a Baptist under my mom. And then when I got old, I converted to Islam, Sunni Islam. And then later on, I realized I wanted to be, well, I wanted to get knowledge under the Israelites. So I was getting a lot of knowledge through the Israelites. Had a minister, Brother Julius, who uh, who's under uh, Brother Bowie in Illinois. I got a lot of knowledge when it comes to the Bible and stuff like that. And as time went on, I realized I want to be spiritual. So I'm for being spiritual. I know it's a higher power. 
And if it's the truth, then that's all I'm about seeking. That's why I say we as men have to fix ourselves mentally, spiritually, physically. It's just like grown men business ad is financially. So me, I just want to seek truth. And I told you one thing I got to finish with myself is spiritual. So I did learn a lot when it comes to Israelite. And I still talk to brothers who are Israelite. I still deal with the brothers with Islam. You know, as long as it's the truth, I respect that. But if you want them fake pastors or ministers that, that go along, get along, you worry about that, that bowl collection plate. You worry about the baby mama tears who who up in your churches because that's the majority who up in there. And you taking their money and you don't want to call out what's right and what's wrong. But then you want to try to uh, critique us? Nah, you already know. You get the hell on with that. You know, I, I don't respect you at all. I do not. But in this situation, this brother, TJ Clemens, has been seeking knowledge through faith on the pastor, on the pastor, uh, Dow. And because he's, he's found faith under the Israelites, his wife calling it a cult, took his kids, left the house, alienating him, even gave him a demand that I will come back. If you denounce your faith. And this is why fellas, I tell y'all, these baby mama tears will use their kids, use the kids or well, their children because kids are goats. Use the children as pawns, weapons, shields, uh, victim and everything else. And the, the thing about it is, guess who's called the, the man who abandoned his family? He is. The man who don't want to be a father? He is. The man who ran away from his responsibility? He is. We all went through that. That's something. When you get married, the purpose of being married because you got a husband who's the head of the house, who's the lead. So whatever his faith is, that's the faith you're supposed to follow. And, and unfortunately, the unfortunate part is this man got five kids. He got married and he took care of the house. And now all of a sudden he's like me, you know, deadbeat, run of a child's port, sleeping on the couch. Ain't doing nothing. Ain't worth a damn. You know, now he in the club. But what I do love, he finally decided to tell his stories, his story. And he said it's not over with. This is one story he, he brought out, but he got others. And he said that this has been going on for some months. He said he'd been walking around with a smile on his face, but now you got to tell it all. And he don't care what you think about it. He don't care what you say. You want to say I'm a, no, a low life, ain't trying to do nothing, but you've been around me and my house and all up his ass and shit. And yet now he's a deadbeat, an abandoner, and, and don't want his kids. But no, the truth is, it's a baby mama terrorist that want to use the kids as a pawn to set him up for failure and make him denounce his religion. You can't make this shit up. That's a lot of nerve. That's a lot of nerve. But he's sticking to what he believe in, and he's not going. And that's what I'm telling y'all. As men, we got to keep them veins cold. We got to tell our truth. We got to tell our stories. Keep them receipts. The majority is not going to believe you even if you come with it. They don't want to hear it. But others will. And he said he's just want to talk to one father, one man who's going through this or who have went through this. And that's me. I only want, it could just be one person. That's why I don't care about having 100,000 views. If I got 4,000 views and that's all it's going to be, fine. I got 4,000 loyal followers. And that's why I say I love y'all and shout out to y'all for understanding what I'm talking about. And every time some sucker want to prove me wrong or say, you know, who hurt you in your feelings? Some people try to use their faith and religion, but I don't entertain them fakes and fraud. You just another sucker in the midst worrying about supporting these baby mama terrorists. This brother say he's going to stick to his gun. He's not going to denounce nothing. He's not going to change nothing. He got receipts. He said the kids come and, and uh, they say that, uh, you know, you won there. He showed proof. And they say, well, we still don't believe you. We ain't entertain you. He said it is what it is. Even in the Bible, it says sometimes you have to wash your hands, even with your own kids. I want to give a shout out to uh, Mr. Reed, one of the brothers who sent me this. He sent me this a week ago. And today I was all in my emails trying to uh, text people back, talk to them, email, um, 
And I, I went back and looked at it again, and I'm like, yeah, we need to talk about this today. So I appreciate you, uh, Mr. Reed. Also, we're going to talk about, well, I'll tell you, I'm, I'll tell you what another thing the brother said. The brother said, this is why you don't get married. He said that. So he... <laughs> You going uh, he gonna say that's why you don't get married, not not married through the government. Get married spiritually, and if he say if you do get married, get you know prenup and post nup and stuff like that. But he's sticking to his guns, and hopefully he he do it all the way. You wash your hands and move on, and you tell your story and expose these baby mama tests what they are. And he did marry a white woman, so it's an interracial marriage. You know what I mean? There's a lot of factors on 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 why things are the way they is. Feminism for one, you know. Uh, the no good in laws. I, I don't know how his in laws, but sometimes be the in laws, the, the baby mama tears, uh, grandma, and the grandma, and stuff like that. And, 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 and then you got people in the ear. So many people in, in the ear, instead of you listen to your husband, you listen to somebody out there in the street, whether it's the pastor, whether it's uh, your mama, whether it's uh, one of your friends who ain't ain't got no, no, uh, no, got no husband, but got 10 kids and, and 20 different uh, fathers. <laughs> A lot of different facts. We're going to definitely chime in and talk about this today because I'm just so glad another brother, like I say, his brother was in the NFL. He retired and he, he a family man and, and he he's out here want to uh, change himself mentally, physically and spiritually. And you got some baby mama tears that uh, he married. They want to change his dynamic and go along to get along train with her. Nah, hell no. Nah. And I want to give a shout out to Pastor Dow for putting it out there. It was on his page. I saw it off his page, but I went on TJ Clemens. He got a YouTube that he just started. He only got 147 subscribers. Please subscribe to that brother. You know, um, I went on his platform and uh, checked him out. And hopefully I'm going to try to see if I can uh, interview this brother. And also I'm going to see if I can interview Pastor Dow as well, because I want to talk to him on the spiritual aspects of fathers being alienated um, fathers going through um, situations like this, you know, and his taking his thoughts on the spiritual aspects of what men can do, you know, to, to keep keep their mindsets and on tack, to change themselves spiritually. So I'm definitely gonna try to reach out to. I'm gonna try, and anybody who who uh, watches Pastor uh, Dow, reach out to him if you can as well. You know, it takes takes many to, you know, say make things happen, not just one man. All right, so y'all know how I get down. <laughs> Shout out to the Bay Mama Ted's Bounty Hunters. I'm your host, Mr. Palmer. You already know what we finna talk about, but like I say, you can't make this up. You cannot. I'm not gonna curse too much because hopefully Pastor Dow come look at it. I don't be too filtered. And I can definitely uh I can definitely be clean when I want to. But on this, I'm I'm not gonna be so so uncensored because I definitely want Pastor Dow to take a look at this and maybe he'll consider coming to my show or, you know, doing an interview on here. It doesn't make a difference, but he more than welcome come on my show because we as men, even even the ones who's not Israelite, a lot of y'all Christian, a lot of y'all uh, Islam, just, just on a spir spiritual aspects. And if y'all got any, um, any ministers or uh, imams that was willing to talk about how we could fix us spiritually on a spiritual aspect when it comes to this, any faith, more than welcome. As long as it's the truth, I have no problem with that. You know, it's all about just getting some knowledge and understanding as men. But before I get started, I want to give a um, shout out to the people who are in the chat. Let's see who we got in here today. We got um, Little Rock. We got Maurice. That's Reese from over east in Chicago. We got Black Lifestyle Lives. We got BMT Bounty Hunter. We got Chief Rocker up in the building. We got MPI from the South. We got Mr. Griggs from Ohio. Hey, you need the hat? Hey, $40. Cash out $40. Give me information. I'll send it right to you. Say no more. We got my boy Flyboy in the building. We got Mr. O from Inglewood, Chicago, of course. He say he watched this on Pastor Dow's channel. Yeah, we're going to cook. We're definitely going to cook. We got the bell up in the building. We got, we got Abdul from the South of Texas. Um... We got Southeast Dago up in the building from San Diego. <laughs> we got Warhammer up in here. We got Lou Business. We got Red Pill Awareness. Shout out to him, man. Y'all need to follow him on uh, 
on uh, IG and on YouTube. He's definitely uh, behind the scenes, helping me out on a lot of things, uh, doing the Lord's work. He's from the East Coast over there in the DMV. We got Perfect Blackness from Chicago. You know, he's reported the duty. I got to holler at you behind the scenes, fam. Uh, we got Antisocial from the UK, young lady. We got uh, My King is Humble. And he says, might be a she, he or she said she is a Jezebel. And that's another reason why I'm not I'm not gonna be so filtered because it might be some people from his platform because I tagged his name that's gonna come on here. So out of respect, I'm gonna keep it clean as possible. Um wanna give a shout out to the world class. He said if that ain't the devil, yeah, it is the devil. Uh wanna give a shout out. We got Reggie. Say he sent me a messenger about another ex-football player under Pastor Dow that has a BMT. Okay, do me a favor. Reggie, do me a favor. Uh, resend it right now so I can check it while we watch this. Um, we got Peaceful Pulley up in the building. We got uh, Hologram up in the building for the $2 donation. He says she's going to hell, uh, the one for animals. Shout out to you, my brother, and I appreciate you. Uh, Philip Reed is the person that sent me the email. That's why I say Mr. Reed, but uh, Philip Reed is the one who um, who sent this to me, and I appreciate it. He sent it to me last week. And I appreciate him sending this. And I appreciate when y'all send me messages and, and, and uh, uh, IGs and stuff. Sometimes just tell me why to get to it or tell me why to even talk about it. But this is definitely a great topic. And this is a topic we need to put out there so people can know this uh, baby mama terrorism is real. Shout out to you, my brother. Appreciate you to the fullest. Uh, we got uh, Divine up in the building. We got Alonzo Hall, the all-star advisor. Shout out to you. That's the brother I talked to this morning, man. Shout out to Mr. Hall. Doing the Lord's work. Follow him on this platform as well. Um, we got Honey69. I got your email. I got, it's, that's like a two, three hour video. If you can, send me, uh, tell me the uh, the time when it come in and come out when he talk, when they talk about the BMTs. Because that, that was long. <laughs> we got, uh, who we got else we got in here? We got Cal uh, Watterson up in here. We got Lawrence. What's up, Lawrence? We got Black Man in the Bizarre World. We got Black Rain. We got Duvall 2K7. We got uh, your luxury auto. You know what? DC, he in DC, man. I ain't forgot. I'm going to call you. I ain't forgot at all. I've been texting you, but I ain't forgot. We got my girl Jada all the way from Alabama that's now back in Tennessee. And we got the world class, which is Noble. Y'all know who Noble is. You know, shout out to him as well. And also we got, I want to give a shout out to the 86 people here. Um while we in here, what I want to do, let me let me just check the likes right quick. We got 88 people watching. We got 45 likes. Let's definitely get them likes up. That's one thing that is free. We also got Mr. Hall up in the building. Appreciate you tuning in. Uh, Black Rain from Florida. Yeah, everybody all over, man. Everybody all over up in here. But we definitely going to cook. We're going to talk about this. I just got a cash out. Let me check the cash out right quick, and then we get this thing started. I uh, want to give a shout out to... Maurice, Maurice 071, that's Reese from over east, $10 cash app, appreciate you, my brother. Y'all know the cash app, BGN27, you know, you could definitely do the uh, super chats, because all I'm trying to do is come out with real content, so y'all be aware of what's going on in this world today, and how society has misled you, and you know what, you know, I got to put in my brother Malcolm X. You've been had, you've been took, you've been hoodwinked. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. You've been misled. You've been led astray. This has been going on for a long time, and people don't want to talk about it. But I'm, I'm here to talk about it, continue to talk about it, put it out there in the forefront. Uh, shout out to J.J. Green from Wisconsin. Appreciate you tuning in. You know, my living room looks beautiful, but the color in the back going to be going to be changed and altered. The wife want to change it, you know, and I'm like, that's fine. Maybe light it up a little bit. Y'all can see more of my couch. You know what I'm talking about? So I had no problem with that. Change is sometimes good. So uh, here's the brother right here. Here's the brother right here. We're going to um, let him speak his piece. We got Reggie up in here. Reg oh, that's Reggie. Okay, you reset the cool. I'll check that out. Um, yeah, let's definitely get them likes up. Because like I say, the likes are free. That's one thing that, that, that you don't have to uh, donate. It's just a like. We got 91 people up in here, 57 likes. Let's, let's please, if nothing else, get them likes up. Because this definitely need to be out here. Um, this is TJ Clemens. Like I say, he played for the uh, 
Minnesota Vikings. He played for the Oakland Raiders. He's an All-American football player. He was the number fourth drafted, I believe, in 2015. 2015. I believe it's 2015. I believe it's 2015. If I'm wrong, let me know. But I believe it's 2015. Um, but let's hear what this brother has to say. All right. So I don't know how long I'm going to be here um, on this video, but it's like three something in the morning, closer to four o'clock. <clears throat> and I can't sleep because this has been on my mind for a long time. I'm not coming on here to uh, just talk about things and just be, you know, blabbing and just saying whatever just to say it. Many of y'all are going to take this video and go gossip about it, but I really don't care. That's not the purpose of this video. This video, the purpose of this video is to uh, try to help at least one man. One man right now who's in his home, knows his house could be better, the way he's running his home, the way his wife is, the way his children is, the way he is. This is for that one man. And women, not, not, you're not going to like this. And I really don't care. I really don't care. Uh, I used to care a lot about what people dangle, about what people feel. But I really don't care. Because when you find out that people don't give a damn about how you feel, it'll get you to that place. And that's, that's the thing I've been telling a lot of you. People do not give a damn about you. People do not give a damn about you. They only give a damn about what you can offer. See why, why, why the getting's good. You know, when you able to give out them handouts and favors and, 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 and place the rest and sleep. But then when things hit the fan and you go down, drain up there to the top, like you was, they don't give a damn about you when you fall off. That's why I say the only time you really know who your true friend, your true family is, is when you go through a situation, when you fall off, when you go off course, when you go off track, when you get kind of ill, when you lose financially a little bit. That's when you really know. Or when your name is stained, you being lied on. Just like when these baby mama tears try to stay your name. This is how you know who really gives a damn about you. That's the unfortunate part. But as long as everything cool, cool, you got your money, you got your fame, you got the notoriety, you got you got your status, you got your people, then it's all good. But as soon as you fall off, now it's like, yeah, he did this and he did that, and and yeah, he a deadbeat, and and uh, yeah, I know what I never liked him in the first place, but you was around that dude all day long. And when you tell your story, man, when you expose the truth that you've been lied on, you've been stained, you've been shamed, they. They uh, kept you out the picture for being a father and stuff like that. You tell your story. You don't give a damn who believe it or don't. Because if you got your receipts, the truth is the truth. And you know what I say when I talk about the truth. A lot of them cannot. You can't handle the truth. You can't. Because they don't want the truth to come out. The jig is up. And people all over the world, people all over this nation is coming out telling the truth. See, they don't like this. See, all these, these women that come around trying to be holier than thou, talking about they queens, madams, and mother earths, and, and uh, they want to be submitted. No, they're not. they just some baby mama terrorists who want to use kids as pawns and weapons to keep the father out of the picture. And the main ones, I ain't going to lie, a lot of them go to them churches. And then when they get caught up in they, they, they shit, then they want to holler, oh, Jesus. Yeah. See, that's when they, when they get caught, they want to holler, Jesus. The devil knows the book the devil knows who god is who you think the devil comes from and these baby mama terrorists are devils they not that's why i told y'all they're not human they not they're not mothers they're not even women they're the devil's son-in-laws you have to speak your truth you got you have to tell your story you cannot sit back and continue to keep your head down with the with, with your shades drawn because you don't want to make it worse than it had to be it can't be no worse being stained saying that you abandon your family. You don't want to be a father. You a deadbeat. You can't. You can't be no worse than that. You can't. So like he said, he used to care about what somebody say. He used to try to, I guess, make everybody happy. And I ain't going to say nothing because I don't want to make it worse than it had to be. He said, after that, he said, no, I can't do that no more. 
I can't do that no more. And you know what? Since I just thought about it, since you know, I always also say save yourself. I'm put on to save yourself because as men and even women, real women, we have to save ourselves. So today we're gonna save ourselves, and you don't never worry about what somebody else thinks because long as you got your truth, your truth can't be altered, changed, or anything. You know what I'm saying? And I'm glad this brother's coming out. I'm glad he 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 decided not to continue to do the go along get along train ride, and he decided to tell his truth, because unfortunately a lot of men will not come out here and tell their truth for different factors. But we as men have to tell our truth. How can you be a lead if you're not here to tell the truth? Why would you go along and get along with something that you really don't agree with, something that you know is wrong? Why? Because you worry about what society says, and a lot of y'all this Christian that believe in Jesus. If you look in the Bible and watch the, the documentary, the story, it said that only a select few believed in Jesus. The majority did not side with Jesus. That's why they ridiculed him. And they killed him. So sometimes life is a risk and you got to be willing to stand on it. But let's continue. Yeah, that issue's out the window. Where you realize, like, I don't care what anybody thinks or what anybody feels. So that's where I'm at today. I did a video uh, a while back. Uh, if you, I don't remember what month, but it was a video where uh, I was talking about, you know, being OK. You know, I'm still still out here. People hadn't seen me for a long time. Uh, and at that point in time, I had not seen my children uh, for like three months. The last time I saw my kids, or not kids, kids are goats, my children, was January 20th. It was a day after my son's birthday is his third birthday um that was the last time i held my children and from that time until now i had three more children i had triplets two boys and a girl and i have not seen them yet in january february march april may june so it's been six months it has been six months since I've uh, uh, seen my children. Now, this man got triplets. He got a total of five kids. And he said he ain't seen his triplets. He, he ain't been around his kids since January. This video is recent. And it's been six months. But it's unfortunate that... It's unfortunate that he tried to keep it behind the scenes. He didn't want it out there like that. He wanted to, you know, just hope for the best and maybe we can move past this. He's married, y'all. He's married. He got five kids and he can't even see them. I'm telling you, y'all, this baby mama terrorism is re real. This feminism, this third and fourth wave is real. People sit back and tell me this don't exist. But it is this a lot? It ain't just guys that live in the hood. It ain't just guys that come from the slums. You got guys that's successful and famous in the entertainment business going through it, but they don't say nothing because, hey, they want to mess up their they career. They say the wrong thing about a baby mama terrorist. Then you're going to have all the feminism coming in there. They're going to lose their jobs and careers. But sometimes you got to make a sacrifice, man. Sometimes you got to stand on your truth. You cannot sit back and continue to ride that go-along, get-along train. You just can't. I'm sorry. I want to give a shout-out to uh, Grace for Cuts for the $20 cash app. He says, F child support, Mr. Palmer. $20 cash. I appreciate you, my brother. Yeah. See, even the women here saying, wow, and, 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 and uh, WTF. <laughs> Wishing them the best. Yeah, this happens all the time. And I'm tired of people coming on my platform or coming with the, in the comments talking about this don't happen and no, nah, it's something that he did and uh, this is not right. Uh, why are you doing her like that? Oh, it's one-sided and all that stuff. But when one of these baby mama tears tell they side, it's off the top. That man ain't ain't nothing but a deadbeat, low life, abandoned his family. If you go on his page, the title would say how I abandoned my family because that's what they've been saying about him. And of course, some idiot that just look at the title and say, oh, he, he don't want to be a father. He ain't going to look at that. He gonna go about his business instead of investigating, seeing what he mean. If that, if he's being sarcastic, or is it really 
what they say about him, but he's telling his truth. But like you say, Perfect Black said, it's real indeed, real poison to human relationship. Facts. But let's continue. And that's why I tell y'all, you got to keep the veins cold because you just never know. Um, my boy Lawrence says, by the way, Mr. Palmer, could you keep my father and I in your prayers? The whole West is literally burning up with forest fires and there's smoke everywhere to causing us to feel ill. Rain is needed. Hey, yeah, prayers to you, bro. Everybody send a uh, one in the chat for prayers to Lawrence. He always come on here. He always be like, uh, hey, Mr. Palmer, you know what I'm saying? I, I, uh, that's my homie, man. Please uh, press one for prayers because I, uh, I know how California is and all these fires and they don't def definitely going to get no rain like in Cali or in Arizona uh, on the West Coast. Uh, please, please uh, press a one for this brother. He definitely support the platform and prayer is needed. we got all this going on. It's, it's just crazy, man. Yeah, prayers to you, Lawrence. And, and to your father and everybody that's out there in the West. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, man. That's Sorry to hear that, man. Definitely be careful, man. If you got to make a move, you're able to make a move, man. Make a move and then come back. You know what I'm saying? If you can. Um, wow. Uh, let's continue. Thank you, all Thank you all for the one. Thank you. Thank you. And three months or so since the last three were born, I was not there. I was not there, not because I didn't want to be there. I was forced to not be there. Hear what I'm saying. I was forced to not be there. The opportunity was stripped, stolen, taken away from me by the woman I was married to or am married to. Many of you know her, so I don't have to say her name. So that opportunity was stripped from me. Now, you heard what he said. It's been stripped away from him. It wasn't by the police. It was by his wife. No one else. His wife. Charlene said, how is he forced not to be there? We're going to hear it. But there's a lot of ways you can be forced to not uh, be around your, your kids. One, they call the police. Two, they do a restraining order. Three, they go to court and ask for sole custody. Four, get you locked up on false allegations. Five, there's so many different ways. Five, they had a brother, they family, they mama, they daddy out there with their rifles and stuff. Talking about you better not come over here or we're going to shoot you. There's so many different factors. Manipulation, playing victim, feminism. There's so many different factors. See, what y'all need to understand is not always when, when you hear about a father saying that he's uh, he can't see his son or his daughter. He's forced. I, I don't like that. A lot of people say, how? You shouldn't. That that ain't no way. Ain't no way. What you mean? This stuff happens all the time. You see it in movies. You see it in documentaries. You see it on my platform. How can you still sit back and say, how is you or how is he uh, still not able to see his son or not able to see his son or his daughter? When it's, ob it's obvious why. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot of different factors. And you talking about, well, that's the wife and you the husband. That don't mean nothing. She can stop you from going there watching her uh, birth. And they'll use the hospital and say, well, that's the HIPAA. She had a right to have you in there and not have you in there. Married or not. HIPAA. Come on, now. Let, let's be real here. These baby mama tests got power. And they know it. They know it. And that's why I say this is a man's world, but the women, the women run the system. Let's continue. I'm not 30 years old yet. But prior to being 30 years old, I've owned two homes. Many of you who will see this in the state of Minnesota, who are who so-called brothers, family, all that crap that y'all always say. You already said, he said so-called brothers, so-called family. Because it's unfortunate that a lot of fathers who go through this, that's when you realize who your so-called friends, your so-called family really are. I'm telling you, your own family will go against you when it comes to Aiden, a baby mama terrorist. Your own brother will call you a, a, a piece of ish and call you a deadbeat because he believes in what this baby mama terrorist who playing victim says. This is real, y'all. This has been happening all the time. And it's not just in child support. Just you being falsely accused, you walking down the street and all you're doing is passing out flyers and you're in the wrong neighborhood and they call the police says a black dude trying to uh, break somebody's house. But then you getting arrested, beat up or possibly shot is being... And and basically, it's a false allegation. Same thing. 
Same thing. Let's continue. Many of you were in that home, and I fed you. I let you sleep there. I let you guys come and hang out. Never required anything from anybody. Just wanted to have people over. And many of you wanted to come over. Then I got a farm, 25 acres. Many of you have come over there as well to hang out, to use it. Always kept my place open. I wasn't always like that, but I started to get like that and, and change as time went on. Opening up my home uh, just for fellowship. So I've had two homes uh, before I'm 30 years old. And the last place that I'm at the farm, it's a 25 acre farm. And got that place for many different reasons because I see and saw and was told about what's going on, what's really going on in the world, what's getting ready to happen. And the writing was just on the wall and I wanted to put, put my family in a position to succeed no matter what was going on in the world, in the economy, whatever. Haven't seen my kids now, or children, excuse me, for six months. Somehow between uh, January 20th, when I left my home to go seek answers for where to take my family and the direction that I was believing and feeling that I needed to take my family. From that time until now, the locks on my home were changed, not by me. My clothes, they're not even gonna believe me. I'm gonna show y'all. You see that? That is my clothes on my farm porch. I want y'all to see this. She had his clothes dumped out on the front <laughs> in bags in the winter. She threw all his stuff out. Changed the locks. So that's one way to keep him away from his kids, Charlene. She also, Charlene said they're married. He has the right to be there. Not when you're dealing with a baby mama terrorist. See, as uh, far as him, like, he know he's married, she has the right to say she don't want him in the room while she give birth. She has that right because it's called HIPAA. HIPAA means each individual have the right to privacy when it comes to their health. So, even though he's married, she can stop him from coming up in there. It's different. Just because you're married, that, that don't mean nothing. That's why I say this is a gender biased system. This is, this is why you got a lot of fathers who fight for equal parenting rights, fight for equal rights. Because this feminist system have it where they run. They run this. And yes, it was because of simple forces that we call government daddy. Here I come to save the day. You know, this is just one factor of why things are what it is today. You can't make this up. He got two homes, and I guess he went to the other house, and he was going over there to try to talk or whatever and, 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 and see if he could come to some type of uh, common ground. But before he can walk up, all he sees is bags of his clothes thrown out. What a lot of y'all, what a lot of y'all need to realize, especially women who don't understand this or who never been through it and probably never will, and that's good. But you need to understand that this is real. This does happen to get men. This is not some, this don't happen to just men that you say, oh, well, he didn't better himself. He didn't pull himself up by his bootstrap. Oh, he had a he he went to jail when he was five and all that stuff. This happens to any man. Any man. No man is exempt from this. There's so many deacons and Maybe pastors that's on child support alienated for being a father. But they don't talk about it. They don't talk about it. And that's what had to change. We as men have to talk about it, put it out there. We have to band together as a whole. Look, the feminists was able to do it. The alphabet community was able to do it. We we got to do the same thing, but it's too many. You got men and you got these. Here I come to save the day. Who will come to one of these Bay Mama terrorists' defense 
and they don't have to have no accountability and they still wear crowns and everything else. That's the unfortunate part. We too segre too much segregated because a lot of these men are not real men. But the men that, that are men, that's why we're doing it now, coming together as a fist and putting it out there so the future don't go through this. Look at this. You see that? Look at all his clothes out there. You'd have thought he, he, he killed somebody and he was disowned. You see what I'm saying? So uh, this is real. That's why I paused. I want y'all to see that. Look at that. His house. He bought two houses. He got a farm. But look at this. This could be one of you. If it ain't already has been you. Because a lot of us, you know, went through this. And he's married, y'all. Man, you still married. He ain't get divorced. He's married. This ain't nobody who had kids out of wedlock. Well, I can't, I don't know if he had all the kids out of, you know, I mean, he's married. He did it the right way. Because, you know, everybody say do it the right way. You do it the right way, then you don't have these problems. Don't ever believe no, uh, no bullshit like that. Never. It doesn't matter. On the government, daddy does not matter. They don't care. But let's continue. Porch. I didn't put him there. I didn't put him there. There's only one other person's name on the house, which is a mistake, by the way, that had access to do that. Really? Second home that I provided before the age of 30. <clears throat> um, so haven't seen the children, just saw my clothes that were put out months ago still snow on the ground. Uh, my sister, Melissa, many of you know her, uh, was living with me and my family uh, for a couple years at this point in time. <clears throat> and uh, Melissa being with me now, I'm gonna take care of my sister. I'm gonna make sure she's good because she's been good to me in the hardest time of my life. Uh, Melissa being with me has messed up a lot of things because now the narrative of, man, TJ has gone crazy. He's lost his mind. He's joined a cult. It is crazy. The moment you start actually trying to, you know, let me do, let me try. Let me just let me try with the small thing. Let me try actually start doing what this Bible says to do. Now you're in a cult but you're not in a cult and everything's good. If you want to celebrate all these wicked holidays, uh, do the very opposite of what the word tells you to do. Once you start keeping the commandments, oh man, the law's done away with. No, it's not. Shut up, stupid. Um, when you start doing all that, uh, you joined a cult, you've lost your mind and all those things. And I knew the Most High was dealing with me. I knew he was answering a question that I had for a long time. Why don't we keep the Sabbath? How can I read about this in Exodus? I was talking about, you know, keep the Sabbath, do this for forever, for generations. And I keep seeing that with Yah's feast, or you guys call him God, with his feast. All these things that we know nothing about and he says, do this for generations to generations, do this forever. And when I realized like, this is what I need to be doing. This is what my family needs to be doing. You're not gonna go into a Christian church and find that being done. And they always say, oh, we believe in the Bible. We believe what, we believe the word of God. Shut up, no you don't. Because the moment you start asking them questions about what this is, what does this mean? That there's no answers. Everything goes to, oh, that was just the old days. Shut up. Because God said, he's like, I'm the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He does not change. So all of a sudden, he doesn't change. But what he said for his people to do has changed. So this all ties into why I have not seen my family. Uh, my wife uh, took my children and, and the dog, 
Oh, <laughs> the dog was gone for. Damn, took the dog. The dog. That's why I say this. This is how this is how um bitter and miserable these Bay Mama terrorist devils are. They will take your your dog, your fish, your cat, your kids. They'll take your kids first. They'll take your, your dog Spike. They'll take your fish Frankie. They'll take your frog if you got one. They'll take your soul if they could do the uh Shang Sung move. You can't make this up. You cannot make this up, man. Took the dog. You know why he took the dog? Because you love that dog. Not because she liked the dog. She wants the dog. Hell, she probably beat the dog every day. But since you love it, I take it. The dog. Whew, you can't make this up. Yes, that's not a wife. It's an enemy, 100%. want to give a shout out to Chief Rocker for the $20 donation. He said, Mr. Palmer, much needed stream. Baby Mama Terrace come in all shapes. Facts. All colors. Facts. All religions. Facts. All social economic backgrounds. I also saw this during my two decades of decades and change in the Navy. And it shows you that a woman is a woman at the end of the day. 100% facts. Yeah, the wicked one. The baby mama test one. That's that. That that is that is a shame. But I was alienated from seeing my dog too, so I can relate to that. I was alienated from seeing my dog too. That's that that's that's real. So anybody be like, nah, he just lying. Nah, I was alienated from seeing my dog too. So that's 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 how how much these devils, uh, devil baby mama terrorists are. They will take anything that you love that's yours and make it theirs. That's a fact. Let's continue. Wow. And when I came back home from Green Bay, Wisconsin, after going to just make sure and to confirm and get this burden that the Lord had put on me for months to get it off, by the time I come home, um, my children was gone. Uh, dog was gone. House was completely empty. Huh. Set up. Um, and I'm going to be transparent. $50,000 was gone out of the family account. So not only, not only did she take the kids, she took the dog, took everything out the house, but then took $50,000 out of the account. Now, $50,000 is not a $5 uh, lottery ticket. I don't care if you're worth millions. $50,000 is a lot for somebody to go in your account and take, or, or a joint account, because it had to be a joint account uh, for, for, uh, for it to be took. And unfortunately, if you go to the bank and say, my wife stole my account, they're going to say, ain't nothing we can do about it because our name's on it. We cannot reimburse you. That's on you. The dog, the kids, furniture, and $50,000. But these are the ones that you say, look out for. These are the ones you say, we must lead. We must protect. These are the ones that, quote, unquote, they didn't do nothing. They're innocent. I want to give a shout out to Khalil G for 499 donation. He said, if I had it my way, women would get absolutely zero rights. <laughs> shout out to Khalil G. Well, if you go over to the Middle East, technically, they don't have no rights. But then people over here and, and, and everywhere else in the European country say that's not right. That's humane and 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 uh that's not that's not uh that's not good, that's not cool. But I bet a lot of you is kind of questioning that. Because they don't have them problems in the Middle East. They don't they just now being allowed to drive a car by themselves or even drive a car, period. So it makes you think. It makes you think. All this opportunity that these baby mama terrorists can do that government daddy allow. And government daddy is the reason why this system is designed with this feminist ideology because these was started by men. 
so-called men. You know, like I told y'all, the the uh Here I come to save the day. This your politician, this your governors, this the hell, this your president. This your president, you know, <laughs> your presidents. See, why you think you got uh Kamala as vice president? So a lot of different factors, but she <laughs> I'm gonna tell you tell again for our press play. Took everything out the house, took the kids, took the dog, and $50,000. Man, you can't make this up. But let's continue. Um, when I left my home, I, I left. Everybody's going to say, oh, TJ, you abandoned your family. I go to training camp, going to training camp for a month. Is, is that a, is that being abandoning my family? Now they saying, you know, he going to train the camp, he abandoned his family. They weren't calling him uh abandoning his family when he was all over there at his cookhouse and hanging out there and sleeping and chilling and having a good time, was they? Not none of them. See how see how these fake friends, these niggas, see how they turn on you and stuff like that? Now all of a sudden he abandoned when he go for football training, knowing he gotta, you know, keep the job, he gotta work, he gotta take care of his family. She knew what she was marrying when he was there up in the NFL. But now all of a sudden he abandoned his family because he's going out to train the camps. That's why I told you these, these the fake, the fake so-called friends and even the fake so-called family that will go against you when the when the when the uh, moment is good, when the moment is right, when the baby mama Ted say you ain't about nothing. See, you can't make this up. I want to give a shout out to uh M. Halton for the five dollar donation. Keep spreading spreading the knowledge. I appreciate you, my brother. Let's continue. I go away for games on weekends, sometimes a couple of days. Is that abandonment if you're gone for a few days? Right. All of a sudden, this situation is abandonment. I have Melissa will attest. She's not here right now, but she will attest. No, he didn't abandon. He actually left plenty of money, plenty of food, and left everything as is. Until Latif says, all other races of men can go get, a, get the bag. Black women want to be your mother. His wife is white. His wife is not black. This is this um his wife is white. They they uh he's in an interracial marriage. So he this is not a uh a fake black queen baby mama Ted. This is actually a white woman. And I told y'all the worst baby mama tears is them Al Karens. So this is one of the reasons why child support and alimony is created. This is why feminism was created, and you know, the fake queens took it and ran with it. You know, uh this is why I tell y'all baby mama tears come in all forms, you know. But it's, it's unfortunate that this man's been playing football and, and supporting his family. Now, all of a sudden, it's abandonment and he don't want to be a father. But that's what they do. They pick and choose when they want to call you a deadbeat or abandon somebody who abandoned their kids, knowing this is what you've been doing all, uh, since you've been knowing the person. Now, all of a sudden, it's a problem. That's why I say, like, you got women who are married police officer. He a detective. So he out there all day long. You've been knowing this all the time, but then down the line, you divorced him. He ain't, he ain't there, but he... Paid all the all the mortgage. He paid all all your living expenses. He took care of you and the family. Now all of a sudden, now he only good to pay child support and see his kids once a month under supervision. But let's continue. Yeah, Karen Bay Mama Terrace. Till he came back. That's what she'll tell you. And I come back home from Green Bay, and because my wife thinks that I'm trying to join a cult. She gets up, takes my children, and goes to her parents' house. And her parents have now housed her in the very same house that I took her from when I married this woman. I brought her from, and she's gone over there, and she's taken over her parents who were in their late 60s home. Let's say that again. My wife thinks that I'm trying to join a cult. Hmm. She gets up, takes my children, and goes to her parents' house. And her parents have now housed her in the very same house that I took her from when I married this woman. I brought her from, and she's gone over there, and she has taken over her parents who were in their late 60s home. And now her parents, who built that house, Work they tail off are now, I believe, 
I could be wrong, sleeping in her room that I took her out of while she gets to have their king size master bedroom. But that was her parents' choice. There's no way that my children would ever uproot me and come disrupt the functionality and the functioning of my home. But a lot of, a lot of, unfortunately, a lot of parents will let the kid take over. You got kids that are not even grown yet that run their house. A lot of these manipulated ass kids that that uh, go against the father run their mama house. They're allowed to do what they want. They're allowed to uh, stay up all night at age 10, 11, 12. They're allowed to have a bunch of company up in the house, women up in the house, stay the night, smoke weed, get drunk. At teenage, talk, and they talking about, oh, that's just cool. Cool. You know what I'm saying? Talking about they cool. It's cool. I'm a cool mom. I'm a cool parent. Because if they tell them they can't do this and do that, then they're going to be labeled as the mean parent, and you fall for that crap. That's the problem now. A lot of these parents don't want to be parents. They want to be friends and homies and most of these baby mama tears women, they don't want to be, they don't want to be uh looked at as a, a parent. They want to be looked at as glamma and, and all that job. You can't fall, you can't, you can't make this up. You know what I'm saying? Charlene, be cool. But the fact of the matter is, people will still make excuses and take up for his wife. And evidently, for all I can say, her parents taking up for her, just letting her stay there and keep the kids there. And she can get the master bedroom and they just sleep in her little room. It's crazy. Let's continue. But that's what's going on. <clears throat> so now if you ask my wife, to, what, what did he do? My wife is going to go and say, well, in 2015... He cheated. A man can't cheat. Was I going through some things? Absolutely. What man doesn't? So wait a minute. She tried to use 2015 to why she left in 2021. I told you they would do anything to try to justify their baby mama terrorism. If he cheated... Back in 2015, then, and you felt you couldn't deal with it, tolerate it, then why don't you just get a divorce and throw his stuff out and take the dog and the cat and, and take his $50,000 back then? I thought when you get married, it's supposed to be for better or for worse. See, I told you, these, that's, to me, that's no different than me, too, with they lying ass talking about, yeah, Bill Cosby raped me 30 years ago, even though I did decide to take the, uh, take the drug but he forced me to do it anyway. I told you, these baby mama tests always have an exit plan. That's why you need to have the same, man. So now she can't come out and say, well, I did it because I'm trying to use my kids to control him and set him up for failure. So don't think I can say, well, in 2015, he cheated. And you stayed? You stayed six more years? That don't make no sense. But some simp or some baby mama tear supporter will sit back and say, yeah, I don't blame you. I understood. I understand. I didn't like him anyway, but you was at his house. You was in his farmland every single day. Kissing his ass. As long as he had something to offer, it was good. But now that she left, now he ain't shit. You can't make this up. Yeah. So all that, he did this in 2015, and he did this in 2000, but you stayed all them years. That's what I say about these baby mama Ted that say he used to, you know, when y'all break up, all of a sudden you cheated, you didn't do nothing, you weren't ever there, you weren't ever trying to be a father. And that's be my response. And you stayed? Because to me, who was really the fool? But you stayed all these years, and he, he never did nothing for the kids. He stayed in the house. He was just there, and he was allowed to go back and forth cheat, cheat, cheating. And now all of a sudden, you want to say he ain't nothing here, Debbie. Now, who's really the stupid one? You or him? You can't call. You can't call the woman ho. She been hoeing all over the, uh, all over the, all over the world for all these years. You've been laying, shacking up with her. You wait till after y'all break up for all of a sudden call a hoe? No, nah, it, it don't work like that, son. No, it don't. 
Oh, yeah, I'm open this line up. Uh, want to give a shout out to Latif Edwards for the five dollar donation. Appreciate you, my brother. And I also want to give a shout out to Hollow Graham for the two dollar donation. Said this baby mama tears need a jail cell and an exorcist. Oh, yeah, she's going to trial. Oh, yeah, she's on trial, y'all. <laughs> She's going to trial. It's obvious what she's trying to do. She's trying to use the past to go against him. And I told you sometimes the past will come back and haunt you in different aspects, different ways. Whether you've been to jail, you, you did a crime or you did cheat or you you uh, you uh abandoned your kids. Somebody really did it. Not nobody had been lied on. Somebody, you know what I'm saying? You want to try to come back and all that stuff. This could come back and bite you because some with a baby mama Ted, they always keep that to use against you when they feel it's up to their leisure. Let's continue. Not ashamed, not afraid, because I did everything that Christianity told me to do. Got the counselors, prayer, all that stuff. Just want to be a, just want to be a, a better guy, a better man. Shut up, none of that stuff worked. Exactly. It was all good just a week ago. Because if it did, if this wouldn't happen. And I don't really care. I'm, I'm trying to save one guy, help one man. That's right. <clears throat> so all my wife is going to do is go back into the past and dig up and find every little thing that she that she can find. She already called my parents, huh. aired all my dirty laundry. Man, first of all, stop, stop, stop confiding in your wives because the moment they get upset, the moment they get in their emotions, they will turn on you. And that's 100% facts. This is why you don't tell them your dark secret. You don't tell them what you did in the past. You don't You don't open up all the way. You never let a person know everything because this will could happen to you. They'll take it and run with it. Why is she calling his family? His family, not hers. His family talking about he did X, Y, Z. He did this and did that. You know why? Because... The devil is busy and the devil wants you to side with them. So if they tell they tell the man mama that, oh, he cheated and his mama is the type of person that don't believe in that or, or maybe his father did, she going to dislike him and side with her. You know, that's, you know, baby mama Terry sticking together. You do not tell them everything. You do not tell them where all your money at. You do not tell him well, uh, give them, you definitely don't give every, give them all no joint account. You definitely don't give them your last ends, not at all. Because I'm serious, you do something like that, they will use that when, up to their leisure. They will do it when they feel like it. Yes, even the Bible says so. But a lot of these preachers ain't going to talk about that. They're going to tell you, you know, hey, you all is one and you tell them everything and then you tell them the truth and all that and God will bless you. The only thing I see this man got blessed with is separation, alienation, and baby mama terrorism. See, this is real. They don't care about you being in the NFL. They don't care about you being into uh, Yahweh. They don't care about you being a Muslim. They don't care about you being a, a, a Baptist. They don't care about you being a black man. They don't even care about you being a white man. These baby mama tears don't care about what you is. The color is green, especially with government daddy. But y'all gonna learn today. I want to give a shout out to MPI for the 99 cent super sticker. Appreciate you as always, my brother. Yes. Yes, this, this is real. <laughs> Took the dog, man. I can't get off that. The dog. The dog. $50,000. $50,000. And you heard what he said. He tried the Christian counseling and this and that. It didn't work. Shut up. Yeah, 100% right. And I'm going to tell you what Malcolm X said again. You've been had. You've been took. You've been hoodwinked. Bamboozled. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. But let's continue. Scorpio King in the building. Mr. Muhammad in the building. That's why I say I got people that's, that's Israelite. I got people who's Christian. I got people who's Islam. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's in here because we all got the same agenda. It's real. This is real. This this happened this happened all the time. They don't care about your faith. They don't care about your color. Not when it comes to family court, they don't. They don't care if you're a cop. They don't care if you're in the military. They don't care if you serve this country. They don't care if you're a white supremacist. 
They don't care if you're a preacher. They don't care if you, hey, if you pass the dial and he go up in there on child support, I guarantee you he'll be on child support, seeing his kid every other weekend, if that, and he'll be going through it with family court and the Bay Mama Terrace. No man is exempt in this life called society. That's why men and even women have to change the laws in the mind. Shalom. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers. It's that simple. It's that simple. Somebody's cheating away. Oh, you only saying that because, because what happened to you? No. Anybody's wife, anybody's woman can and has the ability to do that. Just like mine. Exactly. Calls my mom and my dad. Say, hey, your son, you don't know he did this, this, and this. This is years ago. This is not anything that has happened recently. Hmm. Within the last year, year and a half, two years. She goes to the past. This is what your son did. <clears throat> Meanwhile, for the whole five years, many of you guys have seen my wife uh, show off, have nice things, nice jewelry. My wife, and I don't care what anybody says, teacher, you're dumb. This, this is me listening, listening to 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 so-called people that are older than me and say this is how you take care of you this is how you treat a woman see that's that and 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 then we say this about these baby boomers talking about this is how you treat a woman this is how you do this this is how you do that you do all these things you should be all good right you should be blessed you should be blessed right she don't want for nothing you don't believe me ask Steph Curry wife <laughs> A lot of people are never satisfied, especially these feminist ideology women. They are never satisfied. It's not enough. You give them a million, it's still not enough. You know what I'm saying? You sit back and come with this baby boomer, simple enforcement ideology, you know. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. You know what I'm talking about? They, 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 they really believe this. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. No, the hell it ain't. It's sunshine when she's gone because she's not for you. Facts. This is stuff that he, he trying to go off of what he was taught, what he was shown. Old school, because you figure old school ain't going to leave you astray. But uh, the, the unfortunate part is, when it comes to the black community, yes, the baby boomers, the majority, have led us astray. This is why a lot of us become super step simps. This is why we set up for failure. That's why we blind leading the blind. This is why we're so misguided and lost. This is why we're going through divorces and child support. Yes, again, you've been had. You've been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, and all that things. All these things. I want to give a shout out to Anthony McClinton, Dr. Palmer. You young brothers should take heed. These BMTs are demons. Demons. And Anthony McClinton is 62 or 61 or 63 years old. So, yeah, he one of the baby boomers, but he's a baby boomer with a brain that knows better. He's been through it. Got a 41-year-old son, and still the son is manipulated by the baby mama Terry. Even though he paid child support, made six-figure, high by your man, paying $1,100 a month. And yet, he's looked at as a deadbeat father, but his other kids he raised to care of, uh, he's a great dad and a grandfather. But, you know... Because of baby mama terrorist, son still believes that he ain't shit. Appreciate you, Mr. McClendon. As always, West Side, Chicago. Let's continue. Okay. Gave my wife the funny things. Took her on trips she couldn't have took herself on. My wife probably made, I want to say, I'll be gracious and say maybe $700 since we got married in 2016, July 1st. She might have made seven hundred dollars. So since they've been married since 2016, she made seven hundred dollars of her own. So in other words, she didn't have to work. She didn't have to do nothing. She didn't have to want for nothing. He took her out and treated her like a queen. Yes, the worst advice, happy white man. I don't believe in that happy wife, happy life stuff. I, I don't. No, no. If that's the case, then happy husband, better loving. I got it. I want to be happy too. I want. I want to be happy too. I can't just. Now nah, I know a lot of cats say that stuff. They not happy, but they willing to treat her good because they want things to be cool and calm down. Nah, 
happy wife, happy life, my ass. Both should be happy. Both should be be cool. Both should be uh, living it up, enjoying each other. Not one, because if that's the case, then you you and you in the world of shit. It takes two, and I'd be damned if I walk around me. I did that before. I'd be damned if I do that again. No, 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 no. Oh no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. TJ ain't no different. That coming to say today. No, no. And then all these women sit back and say, there's no good man out here. Don't These men don't want to be no father. They don't want to be husband and stuff. But then they marry them, and they're still not happy and satisfied. So then they realize, like, why am I staying married? I can just do a no-fault divorce, get half his money, plus child support and alimony, and I can still be a hoe. Yeah. That's it. Let me throw his stuff out the house and say he cheated back in 2015. Keep the kids away and stay with my parents because I'm running over there. And I could go ahead and if I decide to, I could take that $50,000 and pay for my lawyer and get everything I want and still like a king. Yeah. Sound about right to me. In the whole time we've been married, she has plenty of food. She had plenty of clothes. Plenty of vacations, plenty of trips, plenty of shopping. She's lived a life that some of our family members have not lived and may never live. I don't know. Now she is back at the place that I took her from when her father gave her to me at a wedding. Some of you were there. Some of you were at this wedding. And we stood before God and we said the little vows and we did all these things. And still to this day, I'm trying to find out where in the word, where it gives a, a, a wife leeway to say, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm out here. I'm going to take the man's seed. I'm going to lock him out of his house. I'm going to throw his clothes on the porch, call him and say, hey, where do you want your stuff? I don't care if I'm burning bridges right now. He want to know where that come from. That comes from, uh, yeah, she got five kids. She had two kids and she had triplets. That's five. Um, that's how. But he asked how. Feminism. Government daddy. Family court. And all these other things that benefits them. That's how. That's how. I'm glad he's telling the story. And he really like, how can... How can they allow this? Now, I'm married, right? I did it the government daddy way, the dumbest way ever, but I did it, right? Now, I can't say nothing if a lot of you listen to this and say, I ain't never getting married. I ain't going. Why chance it? That's why I never told y'all, hey, man, do it the right way and get married. I don't have that right. How can I tell you how can I tell you not to get married? And all I show y'all is statistics of men being alienated, not allowed to be fathers, trying to fight in court, do it the right way. You still get burned and lose. The kid hates you. You got your receipts. The people still go against you. What I like telling y'all, hey, man, y'all dumb for not getting married. Y'all stupid, man. You, you supposed to find your queen. And then you hear stories like this. That's why I tell y'all. I could just tell you this is what it looks like if, one, you married the one per wrong person, and two, when you try to fight for your rights. This is what you headed for. Don't think that, oh, well, get married, do it the right way, treat your wife like a queen, happy wife, happy life, you're going to be all good, you won't have these problems. That's the biggest lie ever. Why chance it? And this is why I'm hoping that possibly Pastor Dow or Anybody else that Iman or whoever will come on here and talk about um, these baby mama terrorists and talk about family court and, and the kids on a spiritual aspect. I want different faiths, not just Israel. I want whoever got one, whoever know one. I don't care what faith, but talk about this and what we could do to heal ourselves spiritually. Because it's in the Bible, it's in the Quran, it's in all these books. People think it's not because these preachers ain't going to talk about this. They're not going to go on the Bible and talk about this. 
we have to do it and read it ourselves. Why do you want to talk about this? Because the majority of them are women that's up in there. Why do you want to lose anything in collection plate? That's just go to show. Is they really about God or they're about what society say? They're about that mighty dollar, dollar, dollar. That's why I told you I'm not going to sell out my platform to get some more money, more women, more people, more notoriety, more shine and all that stuff. No, nah, I'll stick with the 4,000 people that I have. I don't have to be on TV with 100,000 people to my well. If I just change up a little bit and say, well, it's, 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 it's majority of, of women getting screwed, not me in line, just to get some shine. No, no, no. No, no. I'd rather get the one, like he said, just one person. It adds up. That's all I care about. That's one for the minority. I'm not for the majority because the majority will never side with you. They will always go against you. They will go along and get along and they will do all the, you know, what I always say. Here I come to save the day. This is real. He did everything he did as a husband supposed to. And look what happened to him. None of you guys scare me. I, I really don't care. And somebody will say, TJ, oh, this is low. No. This is for the man who's on the brink right now, losing his mind with the wicked woman that's in his house right now. He doesn't know what to do. This is what they can do. I don't care. I want to give a shout out to uh, Whistle 2021 for the $5 uh, cash app. Uh, he says, blessings to you, bro. 100 strong prayers. Cool emoji. Appreciate you, my brother. Wrong one. My one. <laughs> Appreciate you, my brother. One more again. Yes, sir. If y'all want to donate to the cash apps right there on the bottom left. Also, you know, you can super chat. You know, hey, all I'm doing is come with truth, content, and reality. This this right here, y'all need to learn from. This is an NFL player because a lot of people want to sit back and say, well, um, it's only happening to you. No, it's happening to anybody that's a man. Shout out to Dr. Thunder. Thunder. Thunder up in the building. Uh, please subscribe to his channel, man. He's definitely doing the Lord's work. This brother, again, is a, uh, he's a professor at University of Ohio or Ohio State University. He definitely talk uh, real when it comes to men, especially black men. You know, this, this is real. Um, it's real. Please follow this platform. Good, bro. I'm going to have him on the show again. Um you have a lot of scholars and, and educated men who talk about different things and communities and different aspects. You don't have to definitely uh, just watch me. He could talk to you definitely when it comes to knowledge and, and music and other things. So um, you have to go in different lanes to get an understanding of everything. Cause I only, you know, I only talk about so much, you know, I stick to, but shout out to uh, Dr. Thunder. Let's continue. And then there's the next play that these women have. When I can no longer control my husband through my tears, crying, manipulation, being silent treatment, withholding sex, all that crap that, that a lot of y'all women are doing currently. When that no longer works, you go to your real master, the wicked ass court system. It's an age old play. It is an age old play and it's starting to get played and men are starting to realize like, yo, I'm not marrying these bras. I'll sleep with you, <laughs> but we're not about to have no, no, no marriage license. See now he's saying the same thing now, but then people say he wrong for saying that. No, how, how is he wrong? No, he's not wrong. No, he's not wrong. No, he's not wrong. I'm married. I'm telling you he's not wrong. He's not. Look what he went through. Look what he's going through. And all he did was try to be a good husband and, and take care of the wife and didn't have to work. I ain't got a want for nothing. Had kids, did it the right way. And look, look what he's going through. All because of the faith he chose. All because of the all because of the faith he chose. He joined the cult. This is why. Um, and I guess beforehand, he didn't know what his faith really was. And I guess, you know, he married, he, he started seeking and he found it. This is why I tell y'all, change the laws of your mind. You definitely got to thoroughly interview the person you're dealing with. You need to ask them, what is your faith? Do you believe in this faith? What's your take on this faith? Are you willing to convert? 
Or are you stuck in this faith for whatever reason? Are you willing to listen? You willing to learn and understand? Because you're supposed to be as one. Now, some people get married. One is one faith, one another, and it goes good. But for the most part, it don't work out that way. You know, you definitely have to know who you're dealing with. You got to be on the same accord. You got to do, do your interview thoroughly. That's why you don't rush nothing. I, don't, I ain't saying he rushed anything. I don't know how long he been with her or, or whatever. I'm just saying. Because you might look at Jehovah's Witness as a good faith, and the others might look at it as, you know, devil worshipers, just for example. Just saying. Because people, you know how people criticize other, other faiths and religion, because I have my take on certain uh, religions, you know. So I wouldn't marry a certain woman with a certain faith. You might be a nice person, but that's the faith you follow. I ain't going. You definitely have to know what you're dealing with. Ringside with the LCD says, Mr. Palmer, facts. Ex-wife had it all. Started a daycare. Made more money than me. Divorced me. Took me for two thousand and twenty-five dollars a month for three kids. Child support took them out of state, fam. You cannot make this up. I want y'all to hear this again. Facts. Ex-wife had it all. Started a daycare. Made more than me. Divorced me. Took me for two thousand and twenty-five dollars a month. Three kids, and then took them out of state, fam. <laughs> Y'all better take heed to all this. It does. I told you, they don't care about you being a good man. They got. They already got an end game. Or when you help them get what they want, help them get their degree. Now all of a sudden, they divorce you and go on about your business, about their business. This happens all the time. Seventy-two percent of divorces is by no seventy-eight percent of divorces done by who? Women. <laughs> And you wonder why men are, black men are childless and unmarried at 53%, if not more. You wonder why men are saying, don't get married. Tuh. Can't make this up. Let's continue. Mm, we're not doing none of that. The guys are starting to figure, it, figure this thing out. And once they start figuring it out, y'all ladies are in trouble. Done. I don't care. You guys are done. So now... They use that play, try to use the court system to control the men. And what tool do they use? The children. Facts. They try to use that. And most of the time, if not almost all the time, it works. It works. <clears throat> now, my situation, I don't really know. I, I, I cannot 100% sure, you know, and be sure of what's going on. All I know is I have not seen my children. I have begged my wife to come home. I was home. I was at my house, the house that I bought. I was sitting there. My wife and kids were not home. I was, I told her, come home. Bring my children home. They have their own rooms. They have beds. They have everything that they need here. Come home. And my wife told me, she said, unless you denounce, denounce, strong word, uh, straightway truth ministries, I can't come home. Now you heard what she said. I cannot come home unless you denounce. I believe that's Pastor uh, Pastor Dow's um, church or temple or ministry. I believe that. I believe that's who she's talking about. I'm not sure. Let me know if y'all you know watch Pastor McDow. That's his uh, congregation. But that's yeah, denounce just like when people denounce Farrakhan um, to get in office or denounce Farrakhan to get to become a, uh, some type of senator or something like that. You know, sell out, go along to get along train. That right there, if you'd have told me that is, okay, why I said that is his his, uh, his ministry, his, his temple, his kingdom, church. See, that's a lot of nerve. You're going to tell me 
that denounce because denounce is a is a big word. It's a big word. Denounce it, 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 to me. That's that's a um, yeah. That's Pastor uh, Dow Ministry. Okay. Um, basically, he got to sell out to get his kids. And I'm gonna tell y'all again, men, you have to keep your veins cold. Even when it comes to something like this, you do not, you do not sell out for something that you believe in, especially if you say you're the follower of God. You're going to sit back and make me denounce my faith. And I'm a man. And use my kids as a leverage to make me denounce something that I really truly believe in. But the average sucker would have. They would have. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. See, a, 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 lot, a lot of you would have did it. Because I just want to be a father. I just want to be around my kids. I, if I got to go back and move back with the baby mama, Terrace, I will. Because I want to be around my kids. If I got to, if I got to, yes, Hebrew Israelite. If I have to, if I have to kiss her ass more than so be it, I'll do it. And she can whole hop do what she want to do, as long as I'm able to be around my kids. Because they know that you love your kids and you would do anything to be with your kids. Of course, you're supposed to. But it's certain things, it's just lines you just don't cross. And to me, once you turn around and, and entertain something like that, you might as well wear her panties. You might as well let her be the lead. You might as well wear her dress. You might as well call her father or daddy. Hell, you might as well call her boss daddy. This You can't make this up, though. This happens all the time. If it ain't about denouncing your face, it's about you denouncing your uh, what your career is, about you denouncing the breakup. You, you don't break up with me because I'm going to take the kids. So now you're going to make me get back with you knowing I don't want you. And if we live, you rather live through a life of misery, us in that same household, than us being separated and we just be parents to our kids. Yeah, they they will, because misery loves company. You gonna tell me denounce my faith? I wish somebody would. I wish anybody would tell me denounce my faith and what I believe in. Just like what I do on here. This is what I believe in. I'm willing to die for this. You not you not gonna make me uh, do a spin a Rooney flip and sell out and lose my integrity? Because that's one thing I do have that I will never lose is my integrity. <laughs> But see, a lot of people are scared to lose it. A lot of people are scared to lose it all. A lot of people are scared to die. You're going to die one day. Even Farrakhan said you're going to die anyway. So if you're going to die, die in something you believe in. Die fighting. Stop trying to go along to get along and you still die alone. Yeah, no, yeah denounce your friends. Denounce your family. You know, that's why. Yeah, these Jezebels. That's what I said. They denounce. They have you eliminate yourself from your family, your friends. Because they know they devils. That's why they tell you to get rid of them. Rid of them. Rid, uh, rid of them. I'm sorry. You know, I'm trying to kind of getting kind of hyped in this. Because this, this ain't no joke. She said denounce. She didn't say stop cheating. She didn't say give me more money. She said denounce your faith. That's a lot of nerve. Then I'll come back. I wanted to say the B word, but I'm trying to be cool. Because like I say, I want to hopefully pass it down. Uh, we'll check this out and, and possibly come on the show and talk on some spiritual aspect. But this B right here. I wouldn't, after that, this conversation would be over. I wouldn't even, nothing else to talk about. I wouldn't, it'd be nothing, nothing else to talk about. You are enemy. You are opposition. You the devil, like I said. You the devil's son-in-law. I don't hang around those, and I definitely don't uh, worship those. Not those types, but let's continue. This is Jezebel, Jezebel to the T. I said, wow. She didn't know what she was really saying to me to be able to use the word denounce. I, I, at that point, I had made no commitments. I was still doing my homework and my research as to where to my family needed to be. And so she used that word, she said denounce. And, that's, and immediately I knew what she's asking me to do is denounce Christ, is denounce Jesus. Because I've come into the knowledge of the truth the Lord has truly opened my eyes to be able to understand and read the word and be like, oh my gosh, this stuff has been here the whole time. Nothing new. Nothing new at all. But after having your mind filled with lies for a long time, 
the truth will then start to look like a lie to some and then start to look false. And then now you start to look crazy. But you can say, keep, keep the Sabbath. What, what, so what's wrong with that? That's just for the seventh day of Venice. Shut up. Who said that it was just for the seventh day of Venice? <laughs> I know that. In the Bible, it says the Sabbath day. The Sabbath day is a Saturday. And to let y'all know, if y'all want to talk, you know, I'm a, I'm a dumb nigga off Cottage Grove. I'll just do it on the couch. Sunday. That come from Constantine. Constantine changed it from sun, Saturday to Sunday when he went to war. I guess I think against the Romans. And he didn't want it. I believe he didn't want it on the same day as theirs. So well, church is on Sunday. You already been misled. It's the Sabbath day. <laughs> you know, it's all these different, um, all these different uh, denominations. They all got similarity, but then they got this one difference. Well, this church is on a Sunday. This church is on a Saturday. Jesus is son of God. In Islam, they say Jesus is one of the most important prophet. The Jews say they didn't kill him. Or they say Jesus is not the son of God. And then you got the, you know, Christianity say, you know, Jesus died for our sin. And Jesus is one man. Jesus is God. Apostolic. Speak a tongue, you truly bless. I mean, baptized. See, that's why I say, man, a lot of, a lot of, that's why I say I'm more spiritual. I'm just about the truth because all these different, all these different ideologies, but all got these similarities. It could be confusing. And then they'll talk against this one faith against another faith. That's why I say I'll be more spiritual. I'm all about the truth and I wouldn't have listened. You know, truth is the truth. You can't, you can't, can't never twist that around. You can make up lies and twist lies and all that, but not the truth. And that's all I'm about. That's why I said, if y'all know anybody who's Iman, Israelite, that want to talk about this on a spiritual aspect, we need to be healed spiritually. We just get some knowledge. Anybody know about converting and all that stuff? And we listen and drop some knowledge and learn and talk about this when it comes to men trying to be fathered and when, when, the, when the child um, be disobedient or manipulated and these baby mama terrorism. You know what I'm saying? Don't miss that super chat. I won't. I see it. Um, but yeah, definitely. You're going to tell me, though, I need to. And, and read this right here. It's in the Bible, but they don't put that. They don't talk about this in the churches because, you know, majority of them are women and they paying their tithes. They, that's the most money. Just like the government. That, that's They do the most spending and shopping. They do the most spending. That's why they use child support as a leverage to get paid because they know these women go to court and put a man on child support for any reason, whether he is no good dude or he's the best husband in the world, but no fault. Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Ringside with LC, uh, Ringside with LCD. Five dollar donation. I had to drop some in the bucket for all my comments. I appreciate you, my brother. This is the brother that said that uh, <laughs> he helped his wife uh, get get her own business and daycare and she made more money and she took the kids around with it and he fought in court. He got what he wanted, but he had to spend a lot of money. But he was paying two thousand a month for something that she plotted and planned. But y'all sit back and tell me, <laughs> y'all sit back and tell me that this does not happen. <laughs> yes, is uh, in Islam the kids go with the father. That's how it's supposed to be. But if you dealing with Americanized society and their culture uh, is feminism, they go with the mother. <laughs> but yeah, you're right, Abdul. Facts. Salam alaikum. And so this is the truth. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed at all. Because my woman uh, took my took my children, uh, robbed me of um, a, an opportunity, a moment to see triplets being born. I may never get that again. But the most high might, he might bless me with that again, to be able to see me have triplets born again. A moment, I'll never get that back. Those three, I'll never, I'll never get that back. And so now people are out there believing that I've abandoned my children. I'm not taking care of my kids. Shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. I have not abandoned my children. Many of you have aided in the wickedness of my wife 
Exactly. I told you, you got these Bay Mama Terror supporters. They will, they will aid assist these Bay Mama Terror. That's the majority. That's a fact. He knows this. And they've been to his house. They've been to his farm. They've been there, stayed there, friends, hotty, hotty, ho, ho, and everything else. But then guess what? When the baby mama Terry decided to leave, take his $50,000, his dog and his kids and, and, and the stuff out the house, y'all taking a run over there with him. I mean, with her. And y'all evidently, you never liked him. You phony kick. That's what that's what they do. And then now all of a sudden, you're talking about he abandoned. Then you're going to aid assist with the lies. This happened all the time. All the time. Juan Jeezy says, uh, brother, stop wifing and impregnating white women. It ain't just white women, brother. But yeah, I mean, watch out for the Karens, but you, you got them in, you definitely got them in this black community, man. You got them in the Latino community. It, it doesn't matter. Mexican community. It's it's all around. It's all around, man. You just got to watch you dealing with of all colors. Because these big mama tell you, I tell y'all come in all forms. No lie. I can't sit back and say it's just a white woman, but they the worst. They the worst. They are the worst. They are the worst. But I can't, I'm not going to sit back and say, it's just, yeah, it's women in general. I'm not going to say it's all. You go to UK. AO is from the UK. It's baby mama terrorism over there. Family court over there. Child support over there. Alienated fathers out of there. You know what I'm saying? Feminist ideology over there. Whole nother country. It ain't just, it ain't just in the good old USA. <laughs> Canada. Australia. All the European countries. Japan. China. Brazil, third world country, certain parts of Africa. It's a worldwide pandemic with these baby mama terrorists. And I'm not bending. Men, stop bending to these women. Their little tears, their little emotions, they don't even know how to control that. Don't let them move you. You heard what he said. Don't let them move you. You keep your veins cold. You stick to your guns. You don't go along to get along. That's exactly what he's saying. The stuff I've been saying. Stuff that a lot of y'all been saying. Oh, yeah, my boy Christopher da uh, Daly. Yeah, he in Sweden. That's what I'm saying. He's my, some of people, my people from uh, Facebook. You know what I'm saying? It's a worldwide pandemic. It's no joke. In Sweden, when it comes to child support, father's been alienated, the suicide, all that, it's worldwide, especially... Especially in the European countries. Mexico got child support. All this. Only in the Middle Eastern, they don't have them problem. The Arabs, even though they say, yeah, Al-Qaeda and terrorists. We got domestic terrorism right here. Bay Mama terrorists. <laughs> Bay Mama terrorism. <laughs> Feminism. <laughs> yes. That's why I tell y'all, in life, you got to keep your veins cold. Not just about child support, just what you see in society. You got these alphabet that runs the system now. They telling you, well, in Illinois, they passed a law where they got to teach alphabet history. <laughs> now, since they passed the Asian law that, you know, you say something to them and you do something wrong, you going to jail federally. Now they got to teach Asian history. <laughs> but black people would be going through it and being, being, uh, well, they've been, we've been going through a lot of slavery. We've been going through a lot of stigma and fake, fake, uh, what's the word? Uh, fake stereotypes for 400 years. And our good old Jim Crow Joe didn't give us a, 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 a federal crime if one of us get abused, beat, attacked, cussed out. None of that, but you gave it to the Asians. <laughs> Yes, persecuting everything else. Wow, you can't you can't make this up. But unfortunately, I blame these black feminists for that because they all voted for uh Joe Biden. The same dude that passed the, uh, you know, Mr. Crime Bill. You know, the crime bill. Keep blacks in jail. Domestic terrorists. That's why I say these baby mama terrorists are the domestic terrorists of the black communities. <laughs> I'm not moving. I'm standing on this word. And that's what I'm going to say. I believe people who would, I don't even know what TJ believes. No, none of you guys have even called and asked. Does he even believe in Jesus? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? Do you believe in the Father? I believe every word of that book. Right. But the problem is 
they only listen to what the preachers say. They don't listen to the book. They don't read the book. They don't even look it up on YouTube. You ain't got to read them, but you go on YouTube and get the Bible read to you. No, they go by what, you know, they father says. And I'm not talking about God or Jesus. I'm talking about the preacher. They look at him as the father when he's actually the messenger. See, the problem is we <laughs> we tend to follow man. We need to stop following man. You're supposed to get knowledge from that man, but then you're also supposed to get knowledge yourself. You can't make this up. You just can't. Like he said, you ain't bothered to investigate. Am I working with a cult? Okay, what are you? You're Israelite? Okay, so do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe in uh, the Son of God? Do you believe in God is real? What do you believe in? And go from there. Then you come with your uh, conclusions. Some people just going to believe what they believe because they go along and get along. Yeah, shout out to Geno Jennings out of Philly. Yeah, I, I, I listen to him. He Now, he he's one of the pastors that keeps it real regardless. He don't care what you say. And he got a, he got a loyal following. But the majority don't side with him either. And that's them the preachers I respect to call out everything. You can't just call out the white man if you don't call out the black woman. You can't just call out Pookie if you're not going to call out Ray Ray. You can't call out the white man if you don't call out the black man. Sell out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who do you believe in? A lot of these people don't believe in they what they what they uh what they are taught. They just go along and get along, just so you know. That's what I believe. From front to back. And I'm not saying that just because it sounds good when you say it and get up and say, I believe the word, shut up. No. You don't believe it because if you believed it, you would at least attempt and start and try to actually do what it says. So now I found a ministry that actually does what the word says. And that I respect any, any faith that follows that book to the T. You can't follow part of the book and not follow the other part of the book. Like you got other Israelites I'll be seeing on TV, well, on, 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 on uh, YouTube, but they out there with they like ninjas and stuff, and they be cussing out the white people and the carnal concubines and stuff like that. They they say a lot in the scripture, but a lot in the Israelites believe in the Old Testament, that, but don't follow the New Testament or vice versa. Is one of them. I, I couldn't I couldn't entertain that. But my my boy brother Julius, Minister Julius, when I talked to him, he said, "No, nah, we don't believe in that." You know what I mean? We we follow the book as a whole, from beginning to end, and he's. Israelite to the T, to the T. Shout out to Julius, and, and he's on the brother Bowie in Illinois. Up, I believe it, uh, I've been to the uh, temple a couple of times, um, and definitely brother Bowie and the other people doing uh, doing the Lord's work with a lot of knowledge. And he's also on YouTube and everything else. So them the people I respect. That's about the truth. You can't say part truth and then say over here where well, it's in there, but dang, what we follow because that was back in the day. No, I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not going. Even the Islam, you know, I'm, I'm for the truth all the way around, not not part of it. You know, even if the truth hurts, I want to know. I want to know. That's me. That's the team. And there's something wrong with me. Oh, before I uh, continue, I want to give a shout out to uh, Abdul for the five out donation. He says, uh, "Great show. Thanks, my brother." Haven't abandoned my children. I'm here. They'll grow up, they'll come find me, and I'm going to sit there, I'm going to tell them the flat out truth. And again, if they don't believe me, I'll say, hey, go ask your aunt, Melissa, who lived with us, change your butts, took care of you guys twice a week. So me and your mom can have date nights and alone time, all that crap. I want y'all to hear that again. Starting to load. What's going on? Do you even believe in Jesus? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? Do you believe in the Father? Nah, it's trying to lag. No. You don't believe it because if you believed it, you would at least attempt and start and try to actually do 
what it says. Exactly. So now I found a ministry. Yep. That actually does what the word says. And there's something wrong with me. Haven't abandoned my children. I'm here. They'll grow up. They'll come find me. And I'm going to sit there. I'm going to tell them the flat out truth. And again, if they don't believe me, I'll say, hey, go ask your aunt. Melissa, who lived with us, change your butts, took care of you guys twice a week. So me and your mom can have date nights and alone time, all that crap. I don't care. People can't, nobody can tell me that I didn't take care of my family. Nobody can't tell, can't say that. Not one. Not one person can tell me that. After expensive vacations, and I, and I, I like to go on vacations myself personally. So I didn't take go and take these vacations just because somebody at. I like I enjoy finding things. I enjoyed nice trips. I enjoyed after a hard season. Injuries, all that stuff. I'm gonna go take a little trip and go put my feet in some salt water somewhere. I enjoy, I enjoy that. So I'm not saying there's anything wrong with trips, but to be able to be on those trips. Again, wife made 700 bucks last five years. I said, told her, hey, you don't got, you don't got to worry about nothing. Just raise these kids, take care of the house, massage me. That's all, that's all I asked. I mean, I, that was, that was simple. That was very simple. You would think. To know you don't have to go out there and work and help me keep the lights on or keep the mortgage paid. If I was a woman, I'd be like, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And do everything in my power, if I were a woman, to make sure my husband can continue to function. <laughs> and so then I retired. I retired. You go through the depression, the anxiety, you don't know what to do. You don't know which way to turn. You kind of, man, can I go back? You, you deal with all these things. This is what happened. Do all these things. So you're in a very vulnerable space. I was. Very weak space. And me sitting here thinking I have a support system. Uh, I believed wrong. Now, didn't I tell y'all yesterday, and I told you this before, but didn't I tell y'all when we was talking about Ace Hood, what, what the Bay Mama Terry said, what she say? She said he wasn't grinding hard enough. And yeah, he was doing his thing, but then when he kind of fell off, it was time for her to take the kids and bounce. The son was three months old. That's why I say you can't make this up. So now that he retired, and he's kind of going through, you know, the retirement. I don't know what to do. I'm in my phase. I miss it. And but it's time for me to go. I'm at a certain age that, you know, hey, I better get out now while I'm, I'm still good. Now all of a sudden he go to the skate route. And how much you want to bet the baby mama Ted's already had this plan? These feminist baby mama tears will have this plan 10 years in advance. And by you having joint accounts and deeds, signing deeds and stuff like that, they already they already got it in motion. These are the devils. These are the devil's son-in-laws. These are the ones that set you up for failure. These are the ones that try to make excuses because you want to be uh, following a good faith, but they call it a cult. You can't make this up. She took it and ran with it. She took that as opportunity. That's why the dog gone. I Man. Mean, and so that's part of it. That's not every little, I'm not going to give y'all every little detail. There's no, there's no need. But that's the basis of what's going on. My wife took the children, threw my clothes out of the house, hadn't slept in the house since she threw my clothes out. That. Baby, I, you can't make this up. Mm -mm. You cannot make this up. And the more I'm going through this, is the more I'm, I got family. What's that? Baby, I children. Threw my clothes out of the house. Dude, the clothes. I hadn't slept in the house since she threw my clothes out. Mm. <laughs> Who does that? A baby mama terrorist does that. Baby, I, you can't make this up. You cannot make this up. And the more I'm going through this, is the more I'm, I got family members, 
more brothers, friends. This is this is going on all over the place. So if any of you brothers who are still playing in the league, bro, don't marry these women, bro. I don't know how tingly feeling on the inside. That should go away. Don't marry these women. You can marry them, but not by the state's status of being married. Because the moment you sign that marriage license or a marriage certificate, done. And if you do sign that, get prenups. Do not give these women access to your hard work. One sprint that I looked over, saw my wife or any of her family or any of my family. Mm. When I got injured, they wasn't there. Mm. Nobody was feeling the pain. It was mm. just me. Mm. The sore backs, the necks, the ankles, the fingers. Everybody else's body is still intact. So when you work hard and you do all that stuff to try to build a life for your family and to bring people along, don't give nobody no access to that stuff, man. Because that's what I did. I said, you know, hey, I'm put your name on everything just, just in case I die. If something happens to me, you can take care of the kids and you make sure you're good. Bullshit. And I don't care who gets offended for me using ass and shit, whatever. Kick rocks. But that's what it is. That's what it is. So I can't sleep. Go with my wife's little... Uh, I'm going to give that woman time of day. Has the audacity to text to, to send me a message. You should take your son, that that uh, background picture of your son off because you abandoned him. Caitlin. And then, and then you already said that baby mama Ted said you, could take the, you should take the kid off the background because you abandoned them. I told you, they, they would have the mindset that you did, even though they the one who kicked you out threw your stuff out, took your 50000 took the dog, took the kids, go live with the parents and everything else, and locked you out your house, but then say you abandoned them, and then they will have the mindset to believe that. They will eliminate everything that they did because of you. I want to give a shout-out to Boo Talbert for the 499 donation. They should really start calling child support for what it is, and that's an unnecessary tax on citizens. It takes more than dollars to raise a child, hundred percent facts. Hundred percent facts. You can't. You can't make this up. Kick rocks. That's what Kevin Samuel says. <laughs> you don't talk to me. I don't talk to you. We are not friends. You are the friend of my wife, and all you know is only what she's told you. So you can kick rocks with no socks on. So that was so there was wait a minute, it was the baby mama Ted's friend that said this. So I told they could they jump to these baby mama Ted's defense. Man, <laughs> better than me. Anyway, that's all I got, man. There will be more. There will be more videos. But all of you take this as entertainment. Who's gonna use this and say, hey, look, did you see what happened to TJ? TJ Clemens? I don't care. Shut up, stupid. This video is not for you. This is for the guy right now who is struggling, who is miserable in his home, who is who knows that there's more. <laughs> this can't be it. I go to church, I pay tithes, and this is and my wife is, is still uh, being wicked. My house is not in peace. I can't get these kids in there. I can't do this. This video is for you, bro. Exactly. And that's the thing. Again, you think you're doing everything the right way? And what baby mama Tess will always say you're doing wrong. You've been had. You've been took. You've been hoodwinked. Bamboozled. And this is why I told y'all before that you have the right to be bitter, angry, hurt, sad. You have that right. And the Bible tells you you had that right. When you've been done unjustly, you had that right to be bitter. So when these baby mama Tess be talking about, oh, you just mad and bitter. No, that's just a shame tactic. That's just something to try to make you man up, quote unquote, man up. You know what I'm saying? You have the right to be bitter. Just don't let it go to a sunken space that you can't get out of. Get yourself in order. That's what you have to do. I promise you, I'm not, I'm not out this thing yet. I got a little ways to go, but I know brothers who's on the other side. 
in Israel. You can see the fruits like the Lord blessed them, gave them better women, more children, and expanded their homes. And I, don't, I really don't care. For all you who think uh, Kabir or KGB, Rob Mathis, all these guys are crazy in the cult, somebody explain to me, Brother Daniel Muir, also played in the league, and his wife. Somebody, I mean, if we all crazy, how, that, that, she must have CTE t as well. She must be, she must have lost her mind as well. She stayed with her husband. She's raising, helping that man raise his children and raise his home. So somebody explain that. The bear could be crazy. Rob could be crazy. I don't care. Y'all call me crazy. But somebody explain Brother Daniel. His wife. She, she was an NFL wife. There is a status to being an NFL wife. There's little clicks. Every you go whatever team you want, and it's just, oh, who's your husband? Blah. Shut up. You're stupid. And they just sit there, look good, and, and gossip. So somebody explain, Sister Chris, how she's still with her, with her husband, serving that man, loving that man. Somebody explain that. But you won't be able to explain it because it's just always easier to say, oh, they lost their mind. They a lot of head injuries and all that stuff. It's easier to say that. So you stick to, for those who want to say that, you stick to that story. But for us that know the truth, we'll stick to the truth. But that's what it is. I had to get this off my chest. Sorry for taking 30 minutes of your time, but I ain't going to sit here no longer. That's what it is. I'm not ashamed. I'm not embarrassed. My family members, they might feel embarrassed because some of y'all going to pick up the phone and call. Don't call my parents. Don't call my sisters. They've had enough. They've been through enough of this. This has been as much of a roller coaster for me. It's been that much of a roller coaster for them. Leave them alone. Don't nobody message me. Tell them all, hey, I'm... No. I don't need that. That's not what this video is for. Again, this is for the brother who is trying to get his house right and who's trying to serve the Lord. And you know that there's more out there. And your wife will not listen, will not submit, will not obey you. Just like the word says, but y'all believe that. Oh, you can't use the word submit. You can't use the word obey. Shut up. That's why I'm in this position. Because my wife listened to another man. The wife listened to another man. Not the man of the house, but another man. Hmm. Can't make this up. When I told her to come with me, to come check out straight away, again, no commitment was made at that time. Just doing my homework. Just like everybody else. Because it seems so different. It seems so foreign. But there's something that Pastor Dow says that is, is just, man, it's, it's something true. It's just truth. And it catches you and you hear it and you're like, man, I, I haven't heard this before, but all he's speaking is the truth. And my wife listened to another man. And that man told her, he said, man, listen, if you, if you, if you go with him, I will show him that you are in agreement. Last time I, I checked, my wife is supposed to go with me because I'm pretty sure if I booked the trip and said, hey, we're going to we're going to Hawaii. That would have been no issue at all. But I said, hey, let's go take a four hour road trip. Me and you just go check this place out. I need an extra set of eyes. She opted to listen to another man who does not pay her bills. Has not afforded her the lifestyle that she's had. Ain't that something? I see why y'all, a lot of y'all say that, uh, you know, these baby mama Tess will go worship the boss at the job, but not, you know, they'll submit to the boss at the job, but won't submit to the husband of the house. And I understand where you're coming from, because just like you said, you listen to somebody that <laughs> don't take care of you, that uh, don't keep your uh, lifestyle going and, and good and everything else, but you listen to some other dude outside the damn foundation.
You can't make this shit up. Yo, salute, Mr. Palmer, man. I just got to literally watching this before you went live because I follow Pastor Dow on uh, YouTube and everything. So well, it's, it's, this must be some kind of uh, synchronicity in the universe real quick, man. It must be. <laughs> it must be, man. Let me finish this last. It's two minutes. Let's finish this up. But you can't. You cannot make this up. Not at all. So, mm, mm. You can worship some nigga outside in the out street. doing that very same thing. Listening to everybody else but your husband. And I ain't gonna hit y'all with all the verses on the Bible because half y'all still not gonna believe it. Y'all gonna be like, that's not true, that's not true. Hey, shut up. <laughs> that's all I have to say. Shut up. Yeah, not gonna read it for yourselves because it's easy to just sit down and just listen to what your pastor is saying without going back and studying for yourself. And ain't that what I said? A lot of people look at these pastors as they God, they father, and everything else. When he's a messenger of God, one of the messengers, one of the churches of God. Hey, some of these people ain't even messengers, oh, Mr. Palmer. They are number of abominations. They're not. They go along to get along. And anything to get that collection plate in a higher rate. I get it. Just like child support. Betty and Long. And everything Betty, Betty Long. Just like that. 100%. I'm going to just tell you this right now. The moment you start reading the Bible for yourself, you're, you're not going to be able to go back and, and, and just take anything that's been said to you mm -hmm. ever again just saying but i encourage you to do it a lot of you won't because it's just easier to just be going along with it um but hey teach his own again i'm out it is almost probably 4 a.m in the morning and i am wide awake i'm wide awake i got to get this out i gotta save these other men Exactly. In the league, if you in the league, you can you hit me up, and you going to hit me up. I I I I can lead you and show you another way, the right way. I can. You do not have to sit here and suffer as men trying to sit here and bow down and worship and please and do all this stuff for these women. Because I don't see that in the book at all. Anyway, yeah, that's all we need to hear. That was basically the end. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, you can't make this up. Um, I'm gonna let Perfect Blackness speak first because he was very anxious to come on here. I knew he was gonna come out here because he's the leader of his house. <laughs> uh, but before he uh, speak his piece, I want to give a shout out again to Ringside with LCD. Ten dollar uh, donation. He said, "Every time I fall for my kids, it costs me a lot of money." I immediately understood why average income black fathers have a very, very difficult time seeing their kids because the majority can't afford it. That's that's hundred percent facts. And even the ones who can afford it, spending money, the uh, government daddy try to still keep the uh, child away, the children away. They, that's that's their jobs. Uh, perfect blackness. What do you guys say about this, brother? Hey, what's going on, Judge Palmer? What's going on to the panel, man? Thanks for having me up. Man, I'm man, glad you I, came on, man. I was like, I know Perfect Black's going to jump on this. <laughs> man, look, I, there are so many ways I want to go with this. Go this ahead. Just, just it, so, many, so many ways, but this is one of the few times where race is not going to be, is really going to be ancillary to it, you know, to, to this whole thing. First mm -hmm. and foremost, this brother here, he, he just exemplifies exactly why. I am what they would call a religious. I'm not, I'm, I am not really, I, I do not conform to any religion. And this is after having studied with, studied heavily with the uh, uh, the Hebrew Israelites, the Muslims. Well, I was heavily recruited to, to be a uh, the part of the, the uh, to be a part of the fruit of Islam. Man, it, it, I, I, it's here in Chicago, right down the street on Stony. I got, yeah. sev I have several of my players that go to the University of Islam, right down the street. And man, I talk to I talk to them all the time, but I I can't do the religion. I I, I just cannot do it. I can't. And this brother here, he exemplifies. That's the reason why you, you can't because if you don't go, they don't go by the Bible. They don't. These religions do not go by the Bible. They what they practice in is what's called dogma, not what the Bible say, not what the, what the words of the pages say. They're going on what's called dogma, and that's how you get all these different factions. But. The way, you know, the, the, this whole, you know, child support feminism and all that type of stuff. I have come, you know, you know, a few years ago, I I, I come in 
I came into the the idea about the uh, the, the equal uh, rights amendment, the ERA, right? And a, a lawyer friend, it was about four years ago. A lawyer friend, he put this in that idea into my head. He's like, you know, maybe the ERA need to be passed. And when I was like, why should that be passed? Maybe they should be given exactly every goddamn thing that they want. Because if the ERA is passed, if the Equal Rights Amendment is passed, a lot of this stuff, Title IX, Title IV D, a lot of this stuff is going to be completely almost abolished based upon just the a sex, uh, you know, uh, all discrimination based on sex is going to be completely gone. So you're going to see a lot. Now, I don't know if, you know, people are really following that far as the legalese is, but mm -hmm. but the thing is, and the passing that ERA, and if people really, really look at the, the surface of it, the Equal Rights Amendment, you know, you know for, you know, you know, because a lot of feminists have actually wanted this to be passed, but you also have a lot of women who don't want it to be passed. I'm going to put a link in the back chat so people can, so, so, you know, so you guys can see if you go read the article. There's one, you know, one of the many articles as to why it shouldn't be passed. I think we should give these women exactly what the hell they want, what they say they want. Give them everything. Just like when they wanted the alphabets to uh, be able to be alphabets, and now they taking over they, uh, they scholarships. They able to be yep. uh, playing the women's sports, the women's mm -hmm. wrestling, UFC, yep. WWE, and everything else. So yeah, but, I agree. Now they crying about but, it. Yeah, but see that the ERA it kind of doubles down on that uh, because. Uh, you know, passing that, they won't have a leg to stand on. And, and if that was to be passed, because, you know, it's, it's, a lot of states didn't ratify this reason why it never passed. It, it was never ratified, rather. Uh, but you get that passed, a, a lot of states, um, uh, the, the, like I say, the child support, that's going to be an avenue uh, for men to not only challenge the you know, forget about, you know, you know, forget about a, um, a due process. You can challenge that just on equal protection alone. If that's passed, if that's ratified, that can be your chapter. Pretty much everything that, that Title IV itself will be eradicated just on uh, uh, equal protection by itself. Gone. Title IX, you can forget about it. A lot of a lot of female sports programs are going to be cut. Then you're going to see you're going to start to see a lot of. Uh, a butchy girls, a butchy women, one suing the courts to compete against men in, in professional sports. All that type of stuff is going to be happening. If you if, if if that's what they want, complete and equal uh, uh, rights to having to give them everything, then just give them everything. See, my, my my position is that, and I said it in the chats, is that uh, uh, when when women were allowed to leave the home, and I don't care what no, but y'all, you know, you can allow me to get on my get on my sexist soapbox here. But when women were allowed to leave the home, were given uh, uh, unfettered access to, uh, 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 to, you know, abortion, no question, to abortion. When they were given no fault divorces, that type of thing. It completely destroyed the family, and it opened up the avenues for it opened up for stuff to happen like like this brother here that was on the that was on the video. That's why that shit happens. So I say, give these women every goddamn thing that they say that they want. Give them what they want. They want to compete with the men. Go right ahead, let them compete with the men. No sex whatsoever. You know, uh, somebody, uh, 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 you know, uh, zero. And I, I'm not going to say complete. You know, for credit is because zero. He was he was the first person in the manfred that I heard about saying stuff like this. I had heard about it from lawyer friends, but I never outside of zero. I never heard nobody say it in the manfred. So he was the first person that I heard about. You know, her say about it. But I'm telling you, you know, give these women exactly what they say that they want, and see how they like it. If they want to compete against men. Truly compete against men. Go right ahead. If you want complete and utter uh, equality, go right ahead. Let's see how good that's going to work for you. I don't see nothing wrong with it. I don't see nothing wrong with it all. That's that's something to think about. So yeah, definitely put that link in the uh, in the back. Yeah. Uh, let me, let me face back. It, What's going on, bro? What's going on, Mr. Palmer? No, man, it's your world. 
Listen, man, I, I'm I'm the resident expert on parental alienation and the, all the reasons that a man shouldn't get married. What happens is, there's, there's no. I know this is going to sound bad, and I, I'm, I don't mean to take a shot at any, any of your brothers that may be married, but you have to understand it from a legal aspect. As a man, when you get married, you are no longer the head of your household. The state is. And women know this. The state is the boss. The woman is the manager. The husband is the employee. And the child is the hostage. In terms of changing the laws in your mind, if you don't look at it that way, you're lying to yourself. I do agree with you and what you're saying, because now as the resident husband on the say, because I am married, uh, I do agree with you. Um, my congratulations so, and my condolences at the same time. <laughs> that's what I, yeah, I should well, tell you, you got my deepest feelings. <laughs> <feeling. laughs> well, we'll see. I, I, that's good. I mean, you, you, you know, and, and I accept those condolences. But you're actually but, right. You're right from that standpoint. I can't I can't say you're wrong. No, I'm not going to say right. it's wrong. And, and, and that's my thing. Like, listen, I don't, I don't, I don't want to sound like I'm knocking marriage because I'm not doing it. Like, I understand what it should be, but we have to understand what it is. That's all I'm saying. Based on what marriage should be, it's a beautiful thing. It's the best right. thing for the children. But based on what it is in this country, what it's been turned mm -hmm. into, it's a terrible idea for men. Yeah, that's, well, that's when the government involved. It's when the government right. involved. That, that's true. He and, and that brother, he's absolutely right on that. And that's one of the biggest reasons why I have chosen to uh, uh, forego American women in particular, black American women altogether. Now, could could, could my uh, could my, uh, uh, you know, uh, South African wife do the same thing? Could she could she do it? Sure, she could. Is she likely to do it? Likely not, because I have positioned myself. Uh, in a position of power to where that if she did it, it would not be the most advantageous thing for her to do. And that's just the bottom line. Men, men, men have to put themselves in positions of advantage and stay there and, and be unapologetic about it. And there are ways that you can do it. Now with an American woman, yeah, uh, if I was married to an American woman, I would definitely uh, be uh, taking your condolences into a very, very high consideration. <laughs> so, but I, I was married to an American woman, and I'm still suffering from that now. But right. my current situation, um, it, it, I, I put myself in a position to where in a position of power. And that's what I encourage all men to do, in particular black men, to put yourself in a position of power, occupy the position of power unapologetically, even if you have to do it openly in front of her, so you can maintain it in order for you to have the happiness that you want. Again, like a you know, former man, they can come home and do the same thing. But there are ways for you to avoid that. There are ways for you to screen that so you can say, okay, yeah, you can do that, but is she likely to do it? And that's kind of where I'm at now. I do understand. Um, Mr. O, because I know you father Pastor Dow, what's, what's your take? Man, look, when you say these baby mama terrorists are who they say they are, no matter the race, color, or gender, you got to understand they are who they are. Look, you try to live awesome. this blue pill lifestyle, gentlemen, and it does not work. Listen to this Christian doctrine bullcrap, trying to live this so-called quote-unquote society life standards as a man does not work. You got to come to the most high. And that's what Pastor Dow does, you know what I'm saying? See, he ain't like the rest of these uh, bulljacking uh, pastors out here trying to sell you a fucking dream. He tell you the damn mm -hmm. truth. And any of these chicks, man, they are reduced to the state of concubines. You dig? They are concubines. They're not wise. They was not trained to be wife. They only respect men. They won't work with a man. All they want to do is say, give me, give me, give me. Look, the pimps knew this. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
Then you can't make this up. Um, actually, uh, Israel, you Israelite as well, ain't you, brother? Yes, sir. Bogota, shalom. Yeah, yeah, I am. I am. Usually, I'm about to yeah, get up out usually, this car. I'm canvassing over here. Yeah, he um he's Israelite as well. There's quite a few Israelites on here. Um, what's your take on this, brother? Well, I, I listen, family. I I ain't gonna even lie to you. I've been canvassing over here in the projects trying to get signatures, man, so I can fight these motherfuckers up in this juvenile court, man. So I seen you was on. I had to jump in this mug ASAP. Oh, whenever but, you uh, can. But when yeah, I did can. see a little bit. I did listen to a little bit before I did start. Like I said, okay. he said he didn't see his babies in a certain amount of time. And I'm like, uh, you know, and the brother famous. So, but, but people always talk about, oh, yeah, well, you know, get to get you a bunch of money. But the money ain't going to even save you from these baby mama terrorists. They'll, they'll take more. But that's all I'm going to throw that in there. For a high value target. That's right. right. Yeah, it does. But, um, uh, Israel, the thing was, uh, the wife took the kids, took the dog, took $50,000, locked them out the house. And told him he got to denounce his faith that he's seeking, which is under the Hebrew Israelites, because she look at it as a cult. If you want her to come back, and he's saying, "No, I'm not going." That's what it's really about. And all he did was take care of her, do his part, and she's listened to some outsider dude talking about it's a cult. But that's what I mean by what's your take on that? Well, you know, the whole thing about it is anywhere in the scriptures that tell you about pride and arrogance. I don't care if you are somebody that worships a rock. If, if you, you can talk to somebody, I know people who are Buddhist. If you are so arrogant and so prideful and so uplifting that you can't even listen to somebody's point of view, then right. that's that's right. the, that's the person that's fucked up. If we, but if you can, like I said, my mama, she's gonna continue to be a Christian to the day I die. But that don't mean I'm gonna talk, but I'm gonna talk to her crazy. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna. I'm a, if you gotta, people gotta take their pride away. That's just, the baby mama Terrace got too much pride. Arrogant. I know I'm right. I know. I know what I'm saying. And what you saying ain't nothing. That that's that pride and arrogancy. The, that's why the Almighty said the earth will be given to the meek and the humble. So the meek and the humble are able to talk to people. Are not thinking that they already know what's right. They ain't trying to hear another side of the story because they already know what it is. That's the that's the pride and arrogance and evil of the baby mama tears. I'm gonna throw that. I'm gonna throw that up there. Hey, I appreciate you, brother. Um, the Jezebel spirit cannot be married. You understand that, gentlemen? The Jezebel spirit cannot be married. You look, she really good. I understand that to the T. I learned that with the Bay Mama Terrace. Um, Charlene, what's going on? What's your take? I know you um, got something to say. What you got to say? So, what I was going to say is that, um, so we don't really know her side of the story. And to me, it looked like they, they wasn't, wait, I'm just saying, they they wasn't really communicating. Like, they didn't have a strong bond. Um, they have to five me, kids. I think, How much bond do you need? I think that doesn't matter. Just because you have five kids doesn't mean you have a strong bond with the person that you have kids with. I so, so I think, so I they got, had, I, got, I, got, I, I got, think got it's ludicrous. I gotta let, 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 let it go and talk. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I think what she what she did was ludicrous because again, she has five kids. I don't know. To me, it doesn't look right. You got five kids and you just get up and just walk away like that. I don't know. I think this there's, there's a little bit more to the story. Maybe she mm-hmm. I, I I think she has resentment in her heart, you know. But I think to walk away with five five kids, that's a lot of kids by yourself. So yeah, she, 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 she going to reap the benefit from all his money and stuff. So she don't It care. doesn't matter. That's yeah, that's five right. kids with five dif- responsibilities. And, and you don't think you, you don't think the court system giving women the incentive to do exactly what yeah, she just exactly. did has nothing to do with this? Uh, no, I'm just saying I don't know. You said that there's more to the story. I, I, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm saying sorry. there's more to the so story. They, more, I don't think they had a strong bond. What more could that? Oh, you think a strong, not having a strong Listen, bond? Listen, I'm not saying on, I'm not. I don't you, agree with what she did. I do not agree with what she did. What she did was wrong. So, but you're saying not having that, a strong okay. bond uh, uh, explains this? No, I no. Because if you're in relationship with somebody and you guys are in partnership and you guys are right to die together, you guys are supposed to be on the same level, you know, every day, 
you guys supposed to be keeping in contact with each other and make sure that you guys are, you know, you keep that bond, you, you see where your goal is and you make sure that both of you guys are appreciated and you need one each, you need one another. Well, she took, she took none of what you're saying to heart when her husband simply changed his religion. Okay, she, she, he, he changed his religion. She just basically used the course to excommunicate him out of his own home that he paid for. For me, there is no amount of excuse that would have did for me that, that would get me to say, you know, let me hear the other side of the story. I'm not excusing her behavior. I just said what she did was wrong. She could have went about a better way of doing it. I but just think there's they, more to the story when people they weren't when went, communicated and they wasn't on the right, same that's level. What he, what he that's what I'm saying. That's, that's what he's saying. He's not saying that you're wrong for having your opinion. But what he's saying is your statement comes across as disingenuous. What he's asking you is when you say that there's more they put more to the story, obviously there's always three sides. Your side, her side, and the truth. But what he's saying to you is what what could what what could be more to the story that would justify her action? That's what he's saying. So words are very powerful. You have to be careful of what you say because it's more of the plausible deniability. It's just something that women do, whether they do it on purpose or not. I'm not going down the rabbit hole. The problem is that they do do it. She knew full on and well the court gives her control over the man. All she has to do is go down there and say, blah, 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 he did. Even if she didn't know that. The minute she went down there, she finds out from an attorney. She'll find out from a sister. She'll find out from a mother. She'll find out from a cousin. There is no I didn't know when it comes to women doing this. And that's the point. So you can't say there's more to the story because that's disingenuous. If you're going to say that there's more to the story, you have to at least come with something that would justify that action. And there's nothing to justify that action. And you said that yourself. So it's contradicting. That's all he's saying. When you speak, you have to be very clear and, con and concise with your choice of words. But it's more of the stream of consciousness thing that women do when they see. I, I couldn't have said that better. I mean, because when you say that, 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 that that's pregnant with implications. That implies all kinds of things that hasn't been said. I mean, the man said that he, you know, he, he changed his religion. And she subsequently locked him out of his own damn home, changed the locks, threw his clothes out the house. There isn't anything more behind that unless you can tell me, unless someone can come back and say, no, nah, he used to whoop her ass and rape her and all that other type of Unless it can come with something like that, there is nothing that can be said that would justify that, that that would make me say, you know, let me hear the other side of this story. And say, Listen, I'm, not, I'm not justifying her actions. I'm just saying. I think they they wasn't on the same team. They wasn't on the same wavelength. Well, obviously they weren't on the same team. She probably never thought that he would change religions, but then again, she married him. Exactly. And, he, and he's the man of the home. He's the man. The book of and Ephesians. He, the and he's he's, to, he's what, right what on his religion. He's, I came in late. What was his religion prior to switching to Islam? I don't I don't think I don't. They didn't say. I think he he no, just. Oh yes, he did. He said Christianity. So I get. I don't okay, know if it was well, Baptist or whatever, and he started right. following Yahweh. Uh, you know, uh, but, the but, Hebrew Israelite. Like, you Hebrew, know, Hebrew right. Israelite. Like, yeah. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna defend the young lady's point. Like there I said, the book of Ephesians says went wild from to die husbands. Right, but but that's the problem. It's always more to the You all know how the black church has been infiltrated. The black church tells you to demur to your women and let them be head of the household. Islam does not play that. That's why she left them out of the house. So you know what? The young lady's 100% right. There is more to the story. She saw her what? control being subverted from her, and she had a problem with that. So she acted while she still had power and control. Well, and still, well, still basically, with me. Still basically. with me. So the answer is feminism. Absolutely. That's always, that's always well, no, I, I'm being funny. Yeah, that goes back to what I said before. I'm being funny. Let, let the feminists have their way. Let them have what they but, want. But, but you know Pass what? the ERA. Ratify the ERA. Let them but have that's what I said. Want. That's what I said in the beginning. When it was all said and done, 
feminism. That's what that's that's yeah. what I'm saying. When she saw that, she was like, "Oh no, let me go ahead and make exit route," which was already set anyway. So yeah, if, yeah, from that logic, yeah, it is more to the story, but it's not more to the story where he's in the wrong. It's just more to the story. Exactly. You know? That's all. I mean, yeah, it's always more to the story. But this, yeah, I think, but what she did was really cold. It was wrong. She's, and... she's a devil. She's a big mama terrorist. She's she she's uh she's a Jezebel, whatever you want to call it. She's she's you know she's the uh, what's the she clothing? She's all them things. You know, just like Malcolm X said. You've been had. You've been took. You've been hoodwinked. Bamboozled. And you heard what he said. He said a lot of people back in the day that the baby boomers told him, you know. Happy wife, happy life. You treat him like gold. You you won't have no problem. Some of the worst that. advice ever. That's some of the worst rhetoric <laughs> ever. That's some of the worst rhetoric. I think ever. I think they should have had that serious is, conversations. I they should have had very think, serious conversations. Well, truthfully, truthfully, no conversation that we had. Hey, I told it, y'all. It, you it, can't. It, hey, you cannot negotiate with a baby mama Tez. Wash your hands and move on. Yes, there the, is. That is some of the worst. Okay. That is some of the worst rhetoric ever. No. Ever. This case right here just shows why women should have never been allowed to leave a goddamn home. So they have never been allowed to have these goddamn uncontested divorces. They should have never been allowed to just have all these unquestioned abortions. But it you know why they did that? More the money. Money. It is right oh. in the but That's why they did the gag with that whole thing. Women only control the black household. <laughs> Which that is not true. Is at the bottom. It's, listen, young lady, how old are you? I'm just asking. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use that against you. I just want to make a point. How old are you? If you don't mind. I'm thirty-one. Me. Thirty-one. Okay. Um. She older than you. Been the family court? Say again. I said, have you ever been to family court? I've only been there like once. Have you ever been oh, as you a man? Seen the court. <laughs> have you ever been to family again? court as a man? I said, have you ever no. been to family court as a man? No, I don't. No, I don't know. I haven't walked a mile in your shoes. Okay, so what I'm saying is respectfully, you're, you're uninformed or misinformed on the subject. Um, you you know you know how safe haven laws work, right? You know a woman can give away a child at any point, right? At any point, without being arrested. Right. Or a being charged with kidnapping or abandonment. Um, a man can go to jail if he tries or attempts to do what women are granted the right to do. So it's it's an extremely slanted concept. The woman is even even allowed to give away the child to state in place of giving the child to the father. They will ask her if she's sure she wants to do it. They would rather her give custody of the child to the state than than custody to the father. So most of the time when men go to court, they're not fighting you. They're fighting the state. Hold on. I see one. I seen a show, right? Like, well, the Steve Walker show. The girl had the baby and she didn't want the baby. And she ended up having having another family adopt the baby. And the man that she had the baby with. Show or, 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 the, or something that really happened? Steve, Steve Wilkes. Is, you say Steve Wilkes, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's a TV. That's one of those... Uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a he's a Jerry Springer spinoff. That's what he. Yeah, does. but he does real content. He ended up getting the no, baby no, back. No, 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 I don't know how he do did it, but. You, you can't can, 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 can I can I make a suggestion? Can I make a suggestion that I've made before on 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 this panel before? And this is this is strictly for her, for 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 ladies. Yes. I encourage you to go downtown to your local downtown or your local courthouse or wherever sit in because these, these things are open. This, this stuff is open court all right these child support courts these are this is open court anybody can just walk in and sit at least once or twice a week for the next month go in and commit a couple of hours just sit down in these in these child support courts and watch these cases just watch these cases and I would challenge you to come back and say there's a different side of the story. Because when you see how men are being done here, when you when you witness the blatant and open uh, 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 violation of due process rights, parental rights, whatever rights, when it comes to these fathers, 
when you see how open it is, how open they do it, and then they go right outside the right outside the courtroom and talk about it and laugh about it. When you do that, I, I challenge you to come back with you know a a, a, a two sided story. You know, it must be two sides to the story, or that there's something like that. I I I, I challenge I challenge any women to do that. Listen, that's that that's all well and good, but that's a bad people argument because, again, you know, I I don't want to come across as you know meathead red dog guy, and before anybody says I hate women, I'll let you know that I spent over seventy grand fighting a case to get custody of my daughter. I'm willing to bet not many people. Well, I, I spent over forty one grand, so I do have an I do have an idea about that. I spent over forty one grand. I I didn't spend seventy. <laughs> But I'd have spent over forty one, so I do you're not, understand. You're not, you're not about to go, you're not gonna say I hate women. What I'm no, saying is no. they know <clears throat> good and well what this system does to men. They are not going to forfeit an, an advantage that they're granted. Regardless of the aftermath that it leads, it would be different if what they were doing was working. Our communities are worse off now than they were immediately after slavery. Because women are hardwired to not take accountability, they will ignore the accountability until the moment of death. Why, why do you? Why do you? Think, We're brother, not going to blame why, the community you, on women. Y'all been in charge uh, for the past sixty years. Hold on. You're hold not going to blame the community, the state of the community, on women. Well, I will. I will. Hey, but, uh, uh, brother, let me. Um, let me. Let me let me do. Let me give a shout out to Black. Hold on. Let me give a shout out to Black Rock right quick. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Black Rock for the five dollar uh, donation. He said, "Mr. Palmer, keep spreading the information. Thank you. I appreciate you, my brother." And also, I want to give a shout out to Kwame, uh, five dollar donation. He says, "I caught hell like Lucifer from my own mother when I changed my religion. It's a control issue." Yeah, hundred percent facts. Hundred percent facts. Uh, before I'm gonna let you talk back, face, but I want to let Honey uh, Six Nine. It's our first time coming up that I can remember. Uh, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you guys? I'm doing fine. What's your What's yeah. your take on this? Um, I I think we should blame some of the women in the community. Um, I really don't understand. Um, I have two uh, baby fathers, and um, the first one I did have to put on child support because him and his baby mama terrorists was doing trifling stuff to me. So I did have to put him on child support. But the second, um, my second thought, uh, baby's dad, um, everything works out great with us. I don't have him on child support. Um, one year, my daughter's with him. One year, my daughter's with me. And these women don't understand. When you call the cops on these men, put these men in jail, they lose their job. They lose their license. And when they lose all this stuff, they cannot help you guys. They don't care. I, I don't really care. don't understand that. They don't care. I have never, ever called the cops on my baby dad. I am so mellow when it comes to them. I listen to them. They listen to me. Like I said, the first one, his wife is crazy. So that's why we had issues. But I'm sure if she wasn't in the picture, everything would be fine. He didn't see his kids because of her, because he was mad at California. But I didn't use that against him. I didn't. I don't say anything negative about him. So some of you women need to just stop it. Your kids need a fathers. I don't care what you guys say. I don't care what you guys think. These dads need their fathers. My son is in jail because he needed his father. And his father was mad at California. So you women really need to stop that. Child su fuck yeah. child support. It's not about child support. It's about these fathers seeing their kids. That's plain and simple. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, young lady. Uh, some of it is some of the women's fault. You know, the, the, the reason that I make that suggestion is not because I believe uh, that, that that there are a lot of women who don't know that this is what's going on. It's precisely because I know that they know what's going on and it, it kind of just highlights their disingenuous. And that's the reason why I make that suggestion. Not because I believe that they don't, that they just don't know that they're just ignorant because they're not. And no, I, they, no woman, they they're not ignorant. 
Most of them know. Most of them know. Right. We, we know that. They know. Right. And even like me making that statement, like I'm not talking to you directly because I've heard you speak on this channel before. I've been on panels with you. So I know that you know. But I say what I say so that people who are listening don't take it the wrong way. Right, right, yeah. And, and the point I was making to the young lady about, you know, we have to blame the women because, and this is part of the problem. When you're in charge, you take the blame. You don't get to pick and choose. When you, you don't get to pick and choose where you say, hey, I'm going to take all the credit, but then somebody else takes all the blame. It's a package deal. Like, like, like single mothers like to say with their children. Oh, me and my baby are a package deal. So credit and blame are a package deal. If you're in charge, you're, you're, you're responsible, whether it goes good or whether it goes bad. And unfortunately for you, the community is going bad long before you even in existence. Everybody get muted. I know, right? Can can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, you know, I I just wanted to say I just don't want to put all blame on the woman. Like it's it's more to like why the community is in, in the state that it is. But you can say there's a lot of women out there who do have kids and they do take advantage of the system. What? Okay. See, I, and, and I blame whoever has all the authority. That's what I'm saying to you. So, in, or, in order for me not to blame the women, they have to forfeit the authority that they've been given by the state. Exactly. Give it up. Go back to your get get back into your rightful spots. And so you uh, occupy your rightful positions, which you should be occupying. If you call yourself a, a, a Christian woman, you should be occupying your your spot as as the good book says. Stop being the manager that that the uh, society continues to want you to be. Unless and until then, then it's going to be your fault. And that's what I've been saying all the time. We got to stop riding that go along, get along train because society is not about good. It's not about what's right. It's not about equality. It's not about everybody come to one accord. Not at all. That's why they keep allowing the, the hate. This racist stuff, shit that's going on this, in our community. They allow the big mama terrorism, the feminism, and everything else because it's power and money. That's all they care about. And the votes. You know, that's why a lot of them go along and get along. But because it's a benefit to them. It's not a benefit to us. And it's not a benefit to our kids either. Right. And, and, all, and all the people that work at those departments you stick on your on the men in your community, they all live better than you and your children. Right. 100%. Offer, offer, offer the money that you that you extract out of your own community. Right. And, you know, what, what, what kills me is when you do speak the truth, they still get offended and say, that's not true. When it is. It is true. It is. You know, but, you know, when it's all said and done, I told y'all, the majority is not going to side with you. The majority will... Go along and get along, just like uh, TJ Clemens said. His own friends and family, not all, but they he ain't heard nothing from. Him. You know, now that the baby mama Ted is playing victim, they entertain it and they looking out for. Her. That's this what a lot of us went through. You are guilty to proven innocent, and even if they see you proven innocent, they still say it's your fault. Facts. I'm I serious. Got, I got personal stripes. I got personal right. stripes on that one. This man right here been falsely accused of sexual allegation of his own daughter five times. No, no, no receipts, no nothing. And yet he still don't have sole custody. And and he been accused five times. I seen the paperwork and documents. 
and yet she still got custody, yet she still live with the great grandparents, yet she ain't holding her own, but she's showing that child support. Five times he's been accused who served his country no and clear for and, and clear and clear, and clear. No perjury charges, no nothing. They just sweep it on the rug and okay, well, you get your daughter back again. Damn, sorry to hear that. But this oh. goes on all the time. Yeah, exactly. This goes on all the time. My, my man, you know what? My man from Cincinnati, this brother right here is <laughs> the, the courts, family courts got him as he's uh, a danger to kids. He's a danger to kids, the one that just showed his face. But he's a school teacher, he's a fucking school yeah. teacher. But he's a threat and he's a danger to his own child, a baby. And they don't have nothing, but they said the way I was acting in court. And I was like, okay, well, give me the video footage of what happened in court. They kept denying me the video footage. Of course. And, you know what I'm saying? So that's all that's all they do. They just come up with they just say what they want to say just to take him away. They don't give they don't, it don't matter. They ain't got nothing on me at all. Right. I'm like, I need to get fired. If I'm a, if I'm a danger to a child, fire me. And, and the principal know that them motherfuckers is lying on me. I said, yeah, well, let, yeah, come but on. Then, now. Like, they don't even got a domestic violence. They ain't even got a domestic violence call, a police report. They ain't have absolutely nothing. Right. But and, and, they, and they do what, what they want to do. And that's what I'm saying. So he's a teacher. He got his license. He got the credentials, the degrees and everything else. But he's a deadbeat. He don't want to be a father. He runs for child support like I do. He sleeps on the couch like I do. He hates his kids. He, he's not fighting hard enough. And also, he's a danger to his kids. But he teach a bunch of high schoolers. I don't. I don't get it. But I do want to say. I do want to say that they don't say I don't want to be a father because I'm. I'm on their motherfucking ass. They're they like, I mean. they trying to tell I'm me to let paper, it go. My paperwork. They're trying to tell me to let it go because I'm here's on the they motherfucking here's ass. The I'm thing. on the mama. What, what I'm saying is, by paperwork, they want to say you're not yeah. fit. To be oh a yeah, father. most definitely. We talking about society. Oh yeah, most definitely. Yeah, government daddy, not yeah. you. Oh, I'm, hey man. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. Man, yeah. Man. Lying motherfucker. Hey man, I wash my hands. I wash my hands. So y'all want to keep fighting? That's y'all thing. I wash my hands and move on, pimp. I'm not finna get my ass sick and die young to then eat a bucket of chicken and then back to reality and shit, and I'm dead. Nah, fuck that. That's a wrap, nigga. I ain't going. So, but everybody else, you know, you fight to the fullest. You spend your money. You do what you feel you need to do, but don't let it put you in a space where you're going to get yourself sick and lose your livelihood. That's all I say. I de You definitely fight if you can. You definitely fight and continue fighting. But my, See, I look at my situation as uh, a sacrifice to the better good, which is a lot of y'all doing what y'all got to do, change the laws of your mind, fight, get band together as a whole, build as men, and grow as men and change the laws of your mind. That's how I look at it. So man, you, still, even and, the 12 disciples right, don't get married. You're right, yeah. bro. So, let me tell you, hey, I'm man. depressed. You're well said. Uh, y'all, even the 12 I, disciples I, I, I want to let it go. Married. I want to let it go so I can stop drinking. You feel me? I want to let it go. Because that drink is going to put me in the grave, like you said. Worry exactly. about it. You, you do about it. About it. Drinking about it. It, it is stressful, fam. I, I wish I could just let it go, man. I really do. Man. You do what man, you feel, man. Man, man, man look, kill. man. After after all of those, after all of those allegations, I had to go get goddamn professional therapy, man. And I'm open about that. I had to go get therapy because I was contemplating murdering this man. I was okay. literally googling how to do it and get away with it. That's why I would. That, that's the place it put me. That's where it put me. So I don't think you women really understand the damage that you guys be doing to men with this mess. And, I, and when you and when women say, well, maybe it's both sides, maybe you're not trying hard enough. And all that, that's BS, man. Hey, that's hey, hold, BS. On, right? hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, uh, TJ, you said, you know, we men in the chat and we see you fools. Hey, the link right here, you come on in and explain on why people are weak in the chat. Because if you write, I'll say, hey, fam, you actually right. We are weak. But if I hear something that don't sound right, if it sounds some you know, something like some goofy mock shit, then yeah, you will be, you will be explained in the, in the nicest fashion for today. So don't say it in the chat, man. Come on here and say what your reason is and why men in the chat are weak and why we weak and so on. Or fools, please come here and tell us why you feel that way. Don't do it in the chat. Let's be a man and, you know, show your face. You know, uh, the dialogue. That's what men do because to me, if you say stuff in the chat but you ain't gonna come on, then it shows that you're weak. So I just wanted to say, I don't agree with child support. I think the two parents could come to an agreement and they, the state doesn't need to get involved. I don't think the state or the law sh should be involved in your personal affairs. That's just me. 
And I think it's crazy. You spent one guy spent seventy thousand, the other guy spent forty thousand. I'm just like, wow. So I don't know. When it, when it could go to the kids. Exactly. That's right. what I'm thinking. Like you these, can you go to the the mom? It'd be like, it'd be like what do you want? Comment. I'll tell you why. That's because men don't get free attorneys when they go down to family court, but women do. Uh, no, I think both sides get attorneys. No, 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 uh, well, I'm in Cali, and both sides they get they get the same thing. So if they want support, it's there for them. I, I I'm in California, so I can't speak for every state. You know, it's people in California that's up in here that could tell you different. Yeah. Well, I be on the same line with the guys, and they be going through their stuff, and they be telling me about that. Oh, okay. Well, I don't live in Cali. I can't really say, but uh. I mean, I'll talk to my Cali. Anybody in Cali up in here that can? And, and, and young I'm from Dukes Cali. I'm gonna have to check that out. Oh, you in Cali too, Miss Honey? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna okay. check that out. Kennedy, not free. No, because you right. could, like I said, I had to get up at five it might in the get morning. One contingency, but it's not free. Right. And the first ten people, they can help the first ten people. And that's that's how that's what I did. That's how I got my divorce. That's how I got all my paperwork for sure. Well, they look out for you. Yeah. With no problem. No, they look out for guys too. I see guys on the line. I see every different person on the line. People with different, you know, different cases. They help you out with all cases. Oh, South you just gotta be the go first ten in line. Southeast, they. Oh, I don't know. He says, uh, "I'm in California. Did it for eighteen years. I, I, I don't know." No, what you're talking about is um, that's paralegal services. Well, yeah, it's oh. probably to do your yeah. paperwork. Oh, they're, they're, paralegal. They're, 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 they fix you with paperwork. I'm talking about mm -hmm. trial. I'm not yes. talking about paperwork. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that dude. I'm talking. We talking about trial and 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 going to court. no. But not trial, I had to pay for an attorney, and I don't, I'm not paying for an no, attorney. No, <laughs> see, during the minute the, the minute that we got divorced, she filed child support. Um, uh, the minute that she filed child support, uh, she if there was a it was a whole litany of uh, uh services that became known to her that they mm -hmm. approached her with. Yep. I heard nothing. Yes, I agree with that. Yes. Yes. She got it was all kinds of services that she was approached with. Yes. I agree they with, didn't that, but me with that. But they but you yeah, you have to pay for that. They take like what? No, she didn't they have to pay telling me. She told me that herself. She didn't have they to pay told, a dime for none of those services. They well, they told me they take fifteen hundred or they take a, a certain amount when the child support is being paid. The state takes right. a certain they amount. Of they, 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 they didn't pay. charge her anything, yeah. and because she was on state aid, they wanted to up my uh, my uh, uh, my uh, child support to pay for oh, court she, fees. Because she was on you state aid, that's said. why. Oh, y'all didn't hear what she just said? They all had to do was take it out of child support. You're not paying for it if it's coming out of child support. They're You're right. Him pay for it because they took right. child support from him. You just proved my point. Listen to y'all tell me y'all talk, or is it like an involuntary special? Are you really surprised? No, I'm not. I'm just oh, okay. surprised that she said it on the internet in the live stream. No, I'm not surprised about that either. What you mean? But see, one thing about the child support attorneys is that child support attorneys do not are not do not represent the woman. If you ever go to child support court and she has an attorney, notice there's two attorneys in the room. It's a child support attorney and it's her attorney. Child support does not represent the woman at all because they don't want to be liable. They want to be liable for their own dirt. That's why they just have to get her own attorney. The child support attorney is there just to make sure that the money, they're going to get the money. It's, they make sure yeah. to, to butt in in the conversation. But they, but they, so they have, you know what I'm saying? So they let it, they let it be known, even as, as a magistrate in the, uh, is, is on his own if he gets sued. Everybody in that court don't want to represent each other. Child support don't represent, child support <laughs> don't represent the, the, uh, the, the fake ass magistrate on the judge because he can get sued too. They are doing something under a business. It's not a constitution. 
child right. support is a business. And if you go to the Secretary yep. of State website, you see exactly what man owns that child support business in your area. All you got to do is go to the Secretary of State website and type in child support in your, in, in your city, and you will see who owns your ass. And it's a man. That's why it's not constitutional. It's a business. And you are under a man driving your ass. That's why, you know what I mean? I just want to throw that out there. Hence the reason why. Hence the reason why I want the ERA to be passed because it's going to be a lot easier to get rid of all this bullshit. No, it's not. I promise you it won't. I think it will. Hey, um, hey, uh, Miss Collins, what you got? Uh, anything you want to say? You there? All right, um, TJ, the link is there. Come on in since you say, um, so you could come on in. It's open. MPI, what you got to say? Can you hear me? Yeah, loud and clear. First, to what Charlene was talking about, I had my child support case in Montgomery County, Alabama. I put myself on child support. The first time we went before a referee judge, it was just me and her. I wasn't satisfied with the amount, so I wanted to go again. The second time we went before the circuit court judge, the ADA showed up on on her behalf. I was in there by myself. I asked for a paternity test that time, so, you know, that put the case on hold. The third time we went in there, the DA showed up on her behalf. I'm still in there by myself. Don't nobody show up for no man when they go to child support court. She asked for this help, and they just show up. I believe that 100%. And, and with that being said, while we in there, Wait, you know, the judge, yeah, and the judge asking me why I'm in there, this and stuff, and I said I'm here because I don't get to see my child like I want to. She going to tell the judge he can get her anytime he want to. Come get her. Tell me why that first Thanksgiving I was supposed to get her for the Thanksgiving break. When I messaged her two weeks in advance, are you going to have my daughter ready to pick up this weekend? Oh, I didn't think we were going by the paperwork. But, yeah, we going by that paperwork when I'm sending them uh, $856 a month for child support. Damn, you can't make this up. Mm. But, Damn. yeah, you want, you want to say I'm the only one to come around my daughter once a year, but you're not saying when I ask for her, you don't want to give it. You don't want me to come get her because you want to be in control for whatever reason. But yeah, you want to say, I don't want to be a father in my child's life and whatnot. Nah. I, 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 it, it, we, we, have, we have stopped accepting visits. That just, that just confused me. So I, have, I, 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 I don't even know what to say because I just be so confused. <laughs> Mm. You gotta stop. stop, I just, stop I just so yeah. Yes. From now on, for men, in custody or nothing. Yeah. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Essential Entities. What's up, bro? Hey, what's up, guys? How's everything? Yeah. What's good, I, uh, bro? Me, uh, everything's good, bro. Uh, let me show. So uh, I'm sitting in the car. I'm always, um, you know, shout out to you, Mr. Palmer, for all you do. You're trying to bring in some light and some insight on this stuff. And uh, all the brothers who share their stories, um, trying to uh, come to some resolution and try to come up with a plan to actually counter some of the stuff that um, we're being uh, unjustly exposed to. Also, shout out to the sisters who are trying to get some clarity, try to learn something about trying to, you know, I had a situation myself and... Um, it's like I said before to y'all gentlemen and ladies, um, it's, it's, it's a business. Like the gentleman said, not only that, it, it, this, 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 uh, this spending, this um, hyper consum consumption is the incentive, right? To give the child uh, to the mother because, um, you know, they hold a higher amount of debt, not, you know, whether it's student loans or things of that nature, but, but they, they, they incentivize, they incentivize uh, the woman 
and they have this system because they want to keep breeding hyper consumers, hyper consumption and uh, financial irresponsibilities. You know, every, we, we always told that, you know, I was always taught growing up that women was more mature and women was this. So we kind of like get programmed in this matriarchal system. But when you start looking at the data and the research and stuff like that, that's not necessarily the case. So now when we really look at the real facts, like fathers, you know, men, father, children better than women, they don't want to deal with that. You know, it's not throwing no shade on the women. It's just, this is, this is just the proof. This is the truth. So we have to rock with the truth and the proof, right? We can see in our community that is going array is really getting really bad out here. And we just have to be, you know, women just look at the situation to be accountable. Not nobody's talking about blaming and blowing. Like, no, we don't want to, we want to handle this thing in a responsible manner and be like, yo, let's get some, resol let's get some resolution out of this and stop playing games. Cause the, the results is there. The results is that we're failing. Our community is looking horrible, right? We have, we have, um, prison, uh, prison, uh, they, what they say, 85% of, of the black men. And I'm not just going to be, you know, it's not just, uh, to black people because white folks go through it too. But 85% of the black men that's incarcerated, they incarcerated from single mother households, right? Now they're changing the language. They're saying single family household. It ain't no um, proof here. Proof here. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, hold on, ma'am. Hold on. There's <laughs> no such thing as a family without a man in it. All right? There's no such thing as a family without a man in it. So we, we, we got to just kind of like take a scale back man and just really be responsible and say yo listen the truth is the truth and the proof is the proof why we keep making these arguments let's ladies yo look at this stuff stop twisting up the facts this stuff is real them brothers are saying real stuff these brothers experiencing this stuff you know what i'm saying these prisons they experience this the public school system all this stuff is real stuff so why you know the sisters can't say you know what yeah we are responsible you got section eight you got wick you got all these programs, all these financial assistance to make this stuff go on. So you, how are you going to say that you're not being responsible for the outcomes when y'all getting the majority of the funding? And the majority of the custody. And the majority of the custody. So how is the man so responsible for everything going so wrong when y'all getting all the custody, getting all the funding, getting all the assistance, all the housing assistance, all the food stamps? You're getting all this assistance, but we haven't felt the results. So how are you going to keep blaming men for that 100 percent, ladies that, that that's a i couldn't ask a better question <laughs> oh i was jumping in to to tell you that it's proof that there needs to be a man in the house because my son is not here and i believe had there been a man in the house you know he wouldn't be locked up yeah he it Ob sometimes objection. listened to me sometimes didn't listen to me but you know, if he had some positive men around him, I, I don't believe he would be locked up right now. I, I got to stop you. We have, again, language is very important. Don't say a man in the house. Say the child's father. That oh, the child's father. Okay, that's fine. Child's father. That's fine. Child's father. No, no, no. no. I'm, I, listen, I, I know what you mean, but we got to be clear. No, I'm fine. I'm fine with that. I'm good. Hey, Mr. Palm. Hey, um, we got... Uh, you say that we got that in the house. <laughs> I'm you, bro. Yeah, I'm TJ. TJ. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. The one from the chat. Yeah. Okay. What's good? Cause you got that. Oh you man, I was just hitting you up, man. Cause you was saying, you know, show your face if you ain't scared. I ain't got no problem with that, family. I'm from Gary, fam, <laughs> so I can respect everything that you're doing here. I respect all the men here. I respect. All the women here. What I'm saying is, for the last couple of days, I've been in the chat. Mm -hmm. Is people in the chat trying to holler at the women in the chat? They can't even really see a good picture of the women in the chat. I don't really have a big problem. You talking about me, fam? Oh my god! What are y'all doing that? Hold on, let him speak. What I'm saying is, this is a show about us trying to get to an understanding. Oh, on the men's side, and then we'll bring the women in. Oh, you and we're not even trying to do that. We on the uh, oh, you an apology. I thought when you were saying y'all weak, I thought you was talking about because we talking about child support. No, and never that. Never oh, that. Well, I mean, no, okay. we, we you, you the, talking the, about the, the, the you talking about old girl hollering in the chat that's been uh, man, I mean, like, yeah, because that, that was my conversation in the chat. I'm like, oh, okay, I, know. I mean, my bad. old girl in the chat, 
She was I like, don't even look in the chest, so I didn't even know. <laughs> no, she's been doing it for the last couple of Why days. Why are y'all talking to me like this? Why are y'all keep hollering at me in the chat? Let me enjoy the chat. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, won't y'all let her enjoy the chat? Won't y'all get some information in your mind? Yeah. And I, I can just imagine. I can just imagine them in real life if they doing this over a fake pitch. Thirsty. <laughs> they thirsty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, man, I really respect right. this platform. I respect yeah. all y'all brothers. Yeah. Mr. Palmer, do your thing. I'll be here tomorrow. Hey, you and Gary. Yeah, it, man, I'm from the Z, baby. Oh, uh, you got you got to come around, man. Hey, no, I thought you said weak. I'm like, weak? Oh, you talking about this, this no, show? No, no. I mean, I didn't, look, know. I, I didn't been through it, fam. I didn't been through it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't been the, the person that's been there for the women, for the kids, for the community. You right. feel me? And all I did was get fucked in the end every time. Hey, every I time. Say every hold time. Hold on, hold on, hold on, sister. We're gonna let let uh TJ finish up, though. Yeah, I'm finish. almost finished. Every time, yeah. I mean, like, and, and now that I'm older, I'm even starting to see little bits of pieces of it coming from my mother. Uh -huh. That's the messed up part about it. It's like, damn, she know I love her. So now keep egging on, keep, keep, keep. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. let me see how much you love me. How much you really love me. You know I'm there for you. You know I'm down for you. So now you just want attention. You want me to stop what I'm doing to show you attention. And that's just what it is with a lot of women nowadays. I'm in the hospital yesterday. It's like eight women in there. All of them talking about, oh, I'm hurting, I'm hurting. An hour later, all of them talking about they ready to go. I'm like, man, this is this is this 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 this, this, this what you call manipulation at its best. Yeah, man. You feel me? And they didn't even do it at the hospital because you got to yeah. think about it, fam. You got to think about it. They laying in the bed. They getting pampered. <laughs> do you need anything, miss? Do you need to? Uh, and that's and that's all day. That's right. all day. When they not getting it at home, they'll go to the hospital to get that that that, that attention. That's sad, man. <laughs> that's a, no. That's a, I mean if. if Mr. Palmer, I can be on here all day and really break it down for you. That's why I like this platform. That's why I've been here for the last few days. You feel me? So hey. it's, it, it, it's no disrespect to you, brother. No, I no, I, 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 I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know people was flirting up in here like that. Hey, man, right. we, don't, we don't do that right. here. We, hey, man, I, hey, man, you, we know ain't none of this. Here I come, <laughs> this, That's why I put it in the chat man. earlier. I put it yeah. in the chat earlier. Yeah, it was like, all right, TJ, I see that. And then I nah. said something about men being weak, and I know it came off kind of wrong. You know what I'm saying? But I thought you were talking about the show. No, I ain't no, I wouldn't even be holiday. here. And like, if I don't like something, I wouldn't even be here. Right, fact. You feel me? It, it's that, right. That's a waste of my time. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? I, I'm I'm looking at a show that I like. I right. wouldn't sit here for hours and look at a show I don't like. That's right. fucking stupid. Hey, you got some, <laughs> hey, you got some stupid people out here though. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's and that's what I mean, and that's what I mean. That's right, what right. I mean, and that's why I, I wasn't trying to disrespect nobody, man. I, I, I really respect everybody. I just wanted people to respect the chat, even more. God, it is weak if you're doing trying to holler at a woman, you get you holler her behind the scenes, and y'all did thing, but not on here. They ain't what yeah, y'all can exchange yeah. uh, uh, emails, and, do emails thing. And, and talk behind the scenes, you ain't yeah, got yeah, but y'all, they don't, they don't, they don't want, they don't, I don't know. Hundred percent, man. Yeah, this ain't the thirst. This ain't the thirst line over here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, man. But 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 yeah, Mr. Palmer, my fault, man. This this man sincerely from Gary, baby. Hey, Mr. but how you uh, how you find out about the show? Oh man, you in you in the loop? What you mean? You in the loop? <laughs> Shit, I mean, I I'm, saying, that, fuck I'm it. a hater. I'm a hater. I'm a hater individual, bro. They don't talk about me. They don't even want to say what? my name. No, don't don't, don't, say bro, my don't name, thing, <laughs> The only thing about the show. The only thing about the show that could probably pop a little better is mm -hmm. that it's just, it's just, it's just, I mean, probably shorten it up a little bit because it's working. like three, four hours. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's cool. I mean, like you at the beginning of your shit. So you got to do this. You got to put it in the work so people yeah. can understand and know where you coming from and put, and put your stamp out there. So I understand it. It's just so, yeah. it, it, it's just you, you, you working out the bugs and you know, you doing your thing, you know, but if you, See, most of the people that do their stuff, they start off, you know, they probably do a little long stuff, but then, you know, they start showing it up and 
little clips here and there. And yeah, I'm gonna start so, I'm working on that real real talk with the pre-recording and, and then take some of the three hours and cut it. I'm I'm, I'm working on it. I just gotta get the team right. Yeah, because so you cause, cause, cause you about the only one that do the, the child support. You right. know what I'm saying? Like everybody else do the relationship with the woman, but no, you doing the, the court situation, the after the man. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And yeah. That, and, and you got your own lane with that. So all, all you got to do is just, just crisp it up, tighten it up. Ooh, boy, yeah. you're going to blow up. I'm not, I don't mean, oh, now, yeah. and, and don't just do the, the, the black community because the black oh, community no. on the low is dead, family. So you do the whole world. Do do every man because every man going through this. Oh, yes, sir. You feel me? And, that, and, 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 and I hate to say this about our black men. Our black men, we need to support each other. We really need to support each other. Mr. Palmer really does need support. Everybody needs support. Like, yeah. for real, for real. If they come coming over here daily and they trying to help, they just need a couple of dollars. That's it. That's just it, keep man. Keep the show going. I'm just trying to get off the couch. That's it. That's, That's it. it. I'm about to get off my couch in a minute, too, fam. Right. It won't take long just to get up. I just That's need it. to get man, up. Man, that's it. That's <laughs> it. I mean, just a little support. And I know, I know we out here messed up. I know us as black men, we all messed up. Like I'm, like I've been trying to get a job for the longest, so I sit back and get this unemployment. I'm good. They're not really trying to hire me. They're not trying to hire nobody out here. Now, especially a, a person like me with an F on his back. Right. I'm, I'm hit. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking they. Oh, we need people. We need people. They don't need nobody. So I understand when people when they pockets, they looking like, oh man. I'm a black man. I can't get this. I can't get that. I can't get grants to go to school. I can't do this. I can't do that. I understand that. I understand that. But if you can, if you can, show a couple of dollars, show a couple of love to the people that's that's around, that's showing love to the brothers in the community that's trying to look up and uplift the other little brothers in the community. Right, yeah. That's One, it. Nah, ain't, ain't nothing. 50 cent ain't nothing. Yeah, ain't and, nothing. We'll, and we'll be good. Every time I see somebody messed up in front of the gas station, I fam, I'm broke, but man, here, man, he go fifty cent, man. Right, he go something, dog. Yeah, yeah. Like it, it, this is real bad, man. But yeah, Mr. Palmer, I, I, I I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go and get up out of here, man. I'm gonna go and say what's up to y'all probably like a week or now, week or two from now, because I'm about to uh try to get on this little money mission. But uh, everybody in the chat, y'all, y'all, y'all have a good one. And right. I didn't mean to really stop and disrespect the chat like mm -hmm. that. Man, you I, too. Thank you. No, nah, you good. You talking about you talking about simp enforcement? I thought you was talking about the show, so I got no, it. No sir, no sir. Yeah, I no sir. Oh, I want to be oh, here. I want to the show like that. Out. Yeah. No, nah, call that out. But uh, you be safe out there, Gary, man. Oh yeah, all day. Yeah, for sure. All right. Yes, sir. All right, man. Peace. Um, Miss Collins, what's going on? Hey, you let it tell um what's his name? A D? That's his name? AO. Hello, you can hear me? Yeah, you talking about AO? Yeah. What you about? Need to okay. I was on the chat. Okay. I wasn't flurry. Okay, when I got on the chat, he like, oh, he liked me, this and that the third and nothing. I was like, okay. So then he gonna call me a troll. I'm like, I'm not no troll. This is my first time on this bitch. No cap. And so it's I'm grown. Time. Huh? It's your second time. How? You was on here yesterday. I was? Yeah. You was flirting with Jay Line. I don't remember that. Oh, you said oh my God. <laughs> you oh, my God. <laughs> huh? You don't no. You don't? Yeah, you was flirting with Jay Line. Where he at? Yep. You got hey, we got us one, y'all. I'm not <laughs> no troll though. You ain't no troll. What is you? I'm a person, a whole nother person. And you say you say AO was trying to holler at you, but yesterday you trying to holler at Jay Line. I wasn't. What are you talking about? Hey, these the baby mama Terrence feminists I be talking about now. She's been on here for the last so why, why why are you being rude? She's been, yeah. she been on here, she's been on here yeah, for the last she been on it for the last two days, man, and she was flirting with Jay Line and shit, talking about the Instagram and shit, and talking and shit yesterday. And then today I seen her talking shit with AO. AO like, man, I don't know you like that. I don't like you like that. Now this motherfucker gonna come on here talking about some dead nigga trying to holler. See what I mean when it comes to how how y'all see this flirt with a motherfucker 
what gets you set up for failure? They thirsty. I get the flirt soup. I'm just saying, she say she don't remember coming on here yesterday. And if y'all look at the video yesterday, you'll see her name as big as words and shit. I guess she want to show up. What? 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 You scary ass hoe. Oh, don't come on here with all that. Let me talk my shit. Say that again. I I told you I was on this bitch yesterday. On my mama. I put that on my mama. I know you would, because that's what y'all motherfuckers do. You put everything in your mama. Oh, broke ass new. Hey, oh, whatever his stupid ass name. I got you. I got you. You gonna go all the way to the UK? I got you. You gonna go out my damn phone dead, but I got you. Your phone dead. Yeah, you don't see it. It's dead. It's dead. See, see, see. I just see some nappy ass head. Bro, bro, bro. Don't iPhone make four. me get my phone nigga on you, bitch. Oh, uh, you, you got you got some dirty knuckles for a female. <laughs> you know what? Black black women, black I women. Oh, it's, it's black women. No, it's, that's not black women. That's black. No, that's not black women. That's this black. This black whore. No, I, I, I have to ask this question. Look at this. Look at this. This ain't black women. This black whores. Yes, please don't say that because that's why I got on here the first time. This ain't black women. This ain't black women though, but this this is shit I've been talking about. This shit I've been okay. talking about. And I, and I put it this way. I'm just saying, this is a good display. This is a good display. This is a good display. Like I said, this is a good display. <laughs> this is what y'all are This is not what you got all black women. I don't care about that. This is what black women have become feminist. This does not represent all black women. No, I didn't say all black women. I said this is black whores. This is black whores right here. This is this is the one these baby mama tears I be talking about. She was on here yesterday talking about. Uh, flirting with Jay Line, and now she on here today talking about AO, and they say he's trying to holler at her with her dirty ass knuckles. I be damn. Yo, I told you, you can't make this. Look at this. That's what, I, that's what I'm talking about. Show your ass. That's what I, hey, this shit like, <laughs> proves me right. This, yeah. this is, this is, this, and I know this is not all black women. She but I'm like sorry. This is what we have dissented to. This is what, this, this is what black men have to pick from. We have to try that to avoid that. That is not true. That is not true. There's a lot of good working <laughs> black women. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I, 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 I got to say this. I'm sorry. This, what is this is what we got to do. Pick women that go to college. Pick women that's working. Pick women that got degrees. Are you Are you saying pick women in college? They got these types right here in college all day. What are you talking about? All right, if you can spot them from a mile away, don't talk to them. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, I can spot them from a mile away. I can. You right. <laughs> hey, like I told y'all, this is why y'all, I need y'all support donations. Because I told you, these women, <laughs> you can't make this shit up. I told you. something else. <laughs> this motherfucker was trying to uh -huh. holler. Look, yeah, no, these hey, this he was trying to holler at everybody in the chat. They look at him now. Hey, hey, man, dude, try to holler yesterday at J-Line, and then she tried to holler at AO, and then come in the He trying to holler at me. Ain't nobody want to talk to your bumpy face head ass. It look like I'm punching walls. It look like I'm punching walls and shit. Is she throwing up gang signs? I don't know. I just don't know. I just don't want <laughs> hey, that's just like hey, that bitch is like Frankie Frankie Knuckles and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like she punched walls for a little. Look at her head, got all them tic tac toes on her motherfucking head. That's why I'm saying you can't make this shit up, man. You just can't. But somebody will knock her ass up anyway, and then they tell me off child's fault. <laughs> I'm serious. This is this is what we supposed to say. This is what we supposed Back. to do. This is who we supposed to protect. Yeah. Y'all take heed to that. I just want y'all to look at her. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, show your face. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> and she's back. She's actually Why she back. coming back? You entertaining her. She's over here laughing. She entertaining her. I mean, damn. How, how long you been on quarantine? <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, that's hey, I mean, you, 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 you can't make this. this no, I no, can't. no, I'm sorry. And, and, I don't you know. know. And, and, 
You know, at first I thought I was going to say, hey, Mr. Palmer, you know, go ahead and exit her off the stage. No, but let her talk. Let her show herself. See, nah. men like myself, I want to point to women like this. That's, that's, I point why, that's why I don't block. That's the reason why I don't block. I let them act how they want to act. So y'all can see for y'all sales. Since y'all want to sit back and say, oh, you lying. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is, <laughs> this, this, I'm saying, this is your community. These are your pillars. These are the ones who raised your boys for the last 30, 40, 50 years right here. I guarantee you she don't have a father. I guarantee you she don't. I don't. I don't. I, 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 don't. I, I know you don't. I don't. You, who raised you? Who raised you? My mama. And there you go. And it shows. It and shows. So right. It shows. Uh, yeah, it shows a lot. Yeah, exactly. It shows a lot. Bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Bitch. And that's why I say this is why fathers are needed in the household because of that's shit. That's why like you got this. a small ass teeth. I know. That's the first small thing they say. <laughs> these, these, hey, these cricket teeth motherfuckers, these are the ones you gotta watch out for. See, this is, the, oh this, my gosh. this is the reason this is the reason why yeah. I said black women, black women, you guys have got to don't you guys y'all got to, you guys have don't to curtail this. Y'all got to curtail don't this. Me, I will pop I'm I not continuing it. That's not no, my life. No, 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 no. I didn't say you can do it. He said he pop, said curtail. Don't, don't, hey, real talk. Black don't women, don't you, don't you guys don't have got to curtail this. The only thing she popped out was the shit on her head. That's the only thing you popped out. I don't I don't know what else you could pop out because like I said, this nigga right here is the shit I be talking about. And uh, y'all motherfuckers behind the bitches behind the scenes on Instagram and shit. This who y'all talking to and behind the scenes. These are the ones who y'all be talking to, flirting with, giving out numbers to. Them the ones looking just like that. She said it. She she didn't have no father. She ain't lying about that. No, in, in all seriousness, you know, black women. I'm dead serious. It, you guys have got to curtail this. You, it, we can't do it. And the reason why we can't do it because society won't allow us to do it. You guys yeah. have got to do it. Why we can't segregate upper class, you know, and lower class in the black community? We need to do that just okay. like the white people black do women, it. Look, if you want your image back, don't do that. You black I'm women you have to curtail that. You guys no, are gonna have to be the ones to do it. There's crazy white women in the media too. Like they, we're not talking about not white women. women. We're not, not, not white talk, women. We're not I know what you're saying. Women. I understand what you're saying, but why we can't have a lower class and an upper class in the black community? Because too many in a lower class like this young lady here, they are producing. Hey, bro, don't say young lady. This ain't no motherfucking young lady, man. That ain't no okay. young. Lady. Yo. This this woman here. Too many of them are producing children. <laughs> She does not represent me as an individual. I'm sorry. It's, it, it falls. Look, if men like myself can go and mentor other people's children, women like you, good women like yourself, and the other, you guys are going to deal with that. You guys got to deal with that. Yeah, yeah, some people listen, some people are lost causes and we can't really help them. Like, That's why you have to separate yourselves from them. And you then yeah. then what you guys need to do, you guys need to start putting those women on full blast, hold them high up in the sky, and for the community to point to and ostracize. But it's gotta start from you guys because y'all won't listen to us. Hey, Mr. O, is she from Inglewood? I'm just saying, you can see these women from a mile away. Hey, Stay said, away from them. Who from Inglewood? I'll just pop right back up. But who who from Inglewood? She, she, right might, be, she, might, be from she might be from Inglewood in Chicago. Why don't we let her talk? What's your name? What, what? My name is Mr. O. I'm from uh, 70th and Green. Baby. No, yeah. <laughs> you, want a, you want the lady to talk? Who will call the camera? Can she say something? I mean, she keep popping on here. From zone she probably right in, in the chat. No, let the lady. I want the ladies to do this. Hello, what's your name? What is your point of coming on I this platform? Well, you may stare. You may. Oh, yes, sir. Nobody's you mad. mad. We just want to know, like, what is like. Mad. Oh, no. What is your goal? Why did you come on this platform? What is your goal? What do you want to tell us? I want to tell him that he got me fucked up. He got, oh, my mama. 
Like, so, but why are you mad? Why are you mad right now? He told me, okay, he asked me, um, how many kids you want? I'm like, I want five. And he was like, uh, give me your IG. So I gave him my IG. He was Hold like, on. Oh. okay, all right. So this is that, that was in the chat. Like, we're having a totally different discussion on the panel. Yeah. But I'm mad at him because he called me a whole and a bitch. So you think Ew. I'm gonna come you think I'm gonna, you you think I'm gonna sit here and listen to him call me all this whole shit? Oh, no. Okay, but nobody in the panel told no. you that. We we didn't we didn't I'm know that you was in I the chat room no talking games. talking to him. I don't no fucking games. All right, but you could go in the chat room and argue with him with okay, that. Okay, I'm not time for arguing with bitches that don't sit here and let me talk. You. We've been on pause. Right. Right. <laughs> Shit, got me fucked up. Like I was having a good. Listen, ass you day. came on this platform. You ain't you. Your hair not done. You look ratchet. You look stupid. You you're not right. saying anything in three sentences. Right. And you on the internet trying to call it ass. You on the internet trying to call it ass too. How you look right now? You look. You not looking good right now. Why are you on the internet trying to call it ass people? You don't even have a picture. You don't even have a picture. Oh, whole ass. Like, I don't know. Like, you know, it's POS. Like, hey, but see, this is why, this the ones y'all say we should save and look out for and all this shit. No, I, not at I'm all. Prepared. I'm just saying. No, that's a lost when I, call out, when I call out these types, y'all y'all come to these bitches defense, though. When I Especially call out this shit, y'all should like say you, you hurt you and you mad and all this shit. I'm lying. See, I'm mm -hmm. just saying. I'm Nobody just, coming to her defense. She no, not even, you. Not you, I'm saying. But when I talk about these types, then people, a lot of them come to their defense. And why are you saying that? You hate women. You hate your mom and all this shit. No, this, she just proved it. She just won. Prove my, what I'm talking about. Look, look here, man. Right. He's, he's right. The one thing that, that I can say about the black about the black manosphere, when we get, when we get the male equivalent of a cases like this, we call them out and hold them high as an, as an example of how not to be too much too far too many uh, uh females in our community like this like this uh like this woman here they are being supported they are being supported they're being supported that's they're being how most of them act when nobody's looking well, well and, and you're right. And I, they kids, that's exactly how they act. BGSM more told y'all these are village wives. They want to be taken care of because they so called are in the land of the living and they have a vagina. Y'all keep on skeeting in these types of women. This is what we keep on producing. We have to practice yeah. natural law, bros. We gotta weed them out. That that's, that's true. Facts. And I wanna yeah. I, I wanna I wanna say something else, because cause I didn't know this was going on either. But again, I don't I mean Mr. Palmer said I don't look in the chat. I when, especially when I'm on the panels, I don't even look in the chat. For all you guys that are flirting with her. Shame on you. I mean, you, you shouldn't even be a part of these panels. You shouldn't be a part of the panel. Don't even bother even listening in because you ain't helping yourself. You're wasting your time. If you're going to be DMing her and all that type of stuff, those those are the type of women that I tell black men to avoid at all costs. You're going to be giving her the time of day, putting your reproductive material and your reproductive uh, 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 equipment into that then you don't need to be listening to none of this because it ain't going to help you. Exactly. It's not going to help you. If you're not going to do, if you're not going to exercise some type of dick discipline and keep your mess, I keep yourself out of that. Yeah. See, women, that I, I'm, I'm glad she came up because just, just, you know, just like you just said, they say this type of stuff, you know, behind the scenes, but it's good to have women like that on live so the world can see this stuff. This is the type of stuff that at least men like myself that look at. We point. This is what we're trying to avoid. There's too much of this. Is this in the community? It's too, it's way too much of that in the community. Way That's too much. That's scary. If if a guy sleeps with her, like he has very very low standards. We left that yeah. plantation, bro. So it is, so it lets you know that a lot of men with low standards who are, who are impregnating with those women. Yeah. That's why. That's why it's only what fifteen to eighteen percent. Of the men who are actually doing most of the impregnation of all the of all the women. Yep. Blackdemographics.com continuously points points that out. And, and you know what? 
I ain't gonna lie. Chocolate just said something, and she's actually right. Don't blame her. Men like yourself will go all up in her. Right. These suckers will go all up in her. For unfortunately, she they will, they'll be thirsty. They'll be talking about where ain't nobody looking. So I go ahead and do it. That's why I say we got to get ourselves in order, man. Exactly. I mean, what the fuck? Right. You, you, you that's a stupid ass, bro. Men, men hold ourselves accountable. We hold, but no, we hold ourselves accountable. And I'm just exactly. Saying, they don't. And that's they true. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I don't. I don't see. I don't see the equivalent <clears throat> of of women's spaces in YouTube or even on social media anywhere. Holding women like that, hold holding them to account because uh, it's women. I, it's I women like that. And, I just and, say and, too. And right, well, it's, it's it's women like that because I know that that's not the majority of black women, but it's women like that because they're the squeaky wheel. It's women like that that are driving down your image, black women, and they're driving it down because you're allowing it to happen. You won't say nothing about it. You won't check it. Yo, I know China and White single, and the nigga talk about these types. Yep, every single one of most women, if, and I'm I'm gonna say all, and I mean all in general, but all black women got at least one person and one black woman in their family like that that they don't check 100 facts 100 now i was just gonna say china white Denica marie uh chantel simone and six of the guys they talk about these type of women though you know what I'm saying? so we know it's not all right those are far those are a few and far in between you 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 are right though. you are right jessica x there's she's another one they they do they they talk about this stuff all the time. But it's oh yeah, pink lessons, uh, Christmas the Christmas cure, all of them. You know what I'm saying? So we got women that's riding the uh, red pill wave in their own type <laughs> of way. But the thing is, though, we need more of them to expose this type of behavior. So all of them go ahead and get put in check. You know what I'm saying? We can only do so much mm -hmm. with the men's sphere. We gonna got the brothers that do right. You know what I'm saying? But it's still up to the ladies to go ahead and get themselves accountable too. My my thing is because you're right on that, but those women, I think pretty much all of those women are considered quote unquote within the black manosphere. We need women like that to invade women female spaces and female spaces who who are basically behind the scenes on their own. Because those women, while they are few and far in between, they are considered like basically black manosphere. Right. Mm -hmm. So we need women like them to go into these women's spaces to call this mess out. That's what, that's what we really need. Black women, I'm, I'm telling you right now, if you want your image to be saved, you're going to go into your spaces. And you know the spaces that I'm talking about. You know those spaces better than, than better than I do. You know where they are. You know in these hearse lines and all that. You need to start going into those spaces and calling that ratchet crap out. And telling these women, you, ma'am, should never reproduce. <laughs> You know what you right, but some some guys some guys like that ratchetness. And those guys get called out all the time. They don't. They can't come to this space and not get called out. Not at all. So you, so you you right on that. You absolutely right on that. But they don't come to this space without getting called out. They dare not come up on these panels without getting called out. Because half of these w women wouldn't be acting that way if it wasn't attractive to men. That's and right. Right. But that's why that's why it's a that's why it's a small minority of those type right. of women getting pregnant from those type of men who would do it. So I got a question. Who's raising those type of men to like those type of women? Baby, that, my type of, is. that type of woman right there who just get who just got off the screen. That's right. That's right. If you, if you want the men, if you want the men to stop going after those kind of women, start letting their fathers raise them again. We gotta have a, a better mindset, a higher value of ourselves. Yes, this is this this has to be a two pronged attack. Um, women are gonna have to go into sacred women's spaces and call those women out. Exactly. Oh, uh, we got Tiffany up the building. What's up, Tiffany? I'm driving, so I think my um connection is a little shaky. Can you hear me? No, I hear you clearly. All right. So to the guy that's saying that. Um, you do have a lot of women that's in those spaces. For instance, I'm a hairstylist. I've seen what you're talking about. And I do know a lot of women who basically think that it's not their business and they won't say anything. But for the example that we just seen with that girl doing all of that, I'm not even going to lie to you. I don't, I don't see that. That's not what I, I've never seen that in my life. 
Like even the the low down women that that come to Kevin Samuel's show, they they don't look better than her. All I mean, they do look better than her, all ages. You could be forty four years old, man, and I don't know what that was. That was like mental illness with itself. But I'm not even I'm not even just talking about the looks. I'm just saying the attitude, the action. This <laughs> baby mama says finest. all of that. That's how you're in the courtroom. That's how they are in the Listen, like that, that look comes with that it, attitude. Well, yeah. some of them got mm -hmm. that it's, look comes sometimes, with that sometimes people, hey man, you got some fine women that got ugliness just like that on the inside. Yes. Oh yes. Right. That my, I've never that. seen my, that. No. My my, my, my saw, what you just saw was a visual representation of what a lot right. of them have have a they're better at covering it up. Okay. And well, yes. if you want the talk, statistics if, says if, if you want to talk about Kevin Samuels, the women you see on his show are what we call simp hunters. They're not there because they have a problem. They're there because they want to know how they can trap high-value men to get a divorce package. That's a whole different element. They said one out of four black women is on psych meds. That, I'm telling you, is mental illness. Yeah, with a and, and the other three are diagnosed. <laughs> but but here's, here's the point that I... Here, here's, here's my biggest point with that. You, you're right, sister. That is not the majority. What we just saw is not the majority of, of black women. Mm -hmm. It is not, it's not even the mass majority of black women. The problem is she represents the squeaky wheel. And it's, that image is what's running down black women. And because of the fact that black women, by and large, do not call that mess out, that squeaky wheel is allowed to run amok. But I think... <laughs> There are guys for that type of women. I've seen guys. A lot of guys. And, and, we, ca and we call that out when no, and wherever we can. I'm not saying you don't. I'm, I'm saying, you know, it's everybody for somebody. So maybe she can get with one of those guys that's crazy just like that. And maybe they can. Yeah. Just yeah. Because just like Kevin Samuel said, yeah, because we do need a, a certain element of society to uh, to clean the toilets. Right. <laughs> right. Have y'all ever seen that movie Wrong Turn with the people in the woods? Yeah. Yeah. That's what she <laughs> I, man, hey, man. I, feel, I I I think and I, I'm gonna put this on the, the well the well meaning the better ending of black women. Y'all got to start y'all got to call that out. For you guys are derelict with calling that out. Holding it up high publicly. So you don't want to do it publicly, you want to do it behind the scenes. Nope. Y'all got to publicly hold that mess up and say that is substandard. Man, uh, you know what? I'm gonna give a shout out to Roy for the 999 donation. She said she said she wanted five kids. Shake my head. Mm, mm, mm. You know and, what? And the way the court system is and everything, how everything is set up, how the system is set up, and because other black women don't want, which she was not likely to to face any type of accountability from other black women. She's likely to be able to achieve her stated goal. Exactly. And right. I, I want to give a shout out to Antisocial for the five dollar donation all the way from the UK. Appreciate you, my sister. And you know what? With that being said, I think we saw enough. I think we need to go ahead and finish taking that Bay Mama terrorist to trial. Is she innocent or guilty for alienating, taking fifty thousand from uh, TJ Clemens, taking the dog, cleaning out the house? All because he want to follow a faith. Is she innocent or guilty? We're gonna start with perfect blackness. Innocent or guilty? You there, bro? All right, we'll face facts. Is she innocent? Are you hear me? Yeah. Okay. You there? Yeah. I said she should be. She is guilty of all charges, and she should get the maximum penalty allowed by human beings. You damn right. I agree to the fullest. Face facts. Innocent or guilty? She's guilty. And not only is she guilty, he better file for his percentage of the marital assets that she confiscated. Exactly. 100%. Charlene, is she innocent or guilty? She is guilty for her actions. 100%. Honey69, innocent or guilty? Guilty all the way, no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> Mr. O, innocent or guilty? 
<laughs> well, you know, as the honorary bailiff in this case, I find her guilty, 100% guilty as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Just give me the keys. Let me go ahead and uh, pull her away. <laughs> Essential entities. You still there? She innocent or guilty? She's guilty and um, guilty of all charges and also guilty of being an agent of chaos. Exactly. Facts. And for, the ratchet, and for the ratchet that was in the chat, she needs to go ahead and get put in the guillotine off with her head. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Tiffany, is she uh, innocent or guilty? Yeah, she's guilty. <laughs> Shout out to Tiffany saying guilty. All right. Let's see who else say guilty in the chat. Uh, let's see. Um, and any man that impregnates that that woman that get the guillotine, I man, yeah, simply force any, any man that impregnates that woman should get the guillotine as well. Yeah, I'm sorry, guilty by association, hundred <laughs> percent. Uh, no impregnation. <laughs> hey, Shad says, uh, no, he said, Shad said facts. Uh, JAB says guilty. Chief Rocker says, uh, let me go back up. It just went. Oh yeah, Chief Rocker says guilty with the thumbs down. Anti-social says, uh, Chief Rocker says, uh, let me go back. Uh, I need a mute. Oh. Hold on, I need a mute. All right. Uh, anti-social says guilty. Uh, Chocolate Capricorn says guilty. Uh, Expansion seven 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 says guilt. Tay. Uh, Raven Knight says guilty. Wise motivation says guilty. Um. Uh, Jack Queen says guilty as fuck. Daniel Gaines says guilty. Miguel says guilty. Never innocent facts. Uh, <laughs> AO from the UK says guilty. Reginald Wilson from the South says guilty and should and should compensate him. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, TJ should get all his money back with interest. Um, who else? Uh, who else? I am me says guilty as fuck. Uh, Warhammer says fucking guilty. OG says guilty. Maximum penalty. K Dot says that monster is guilty, Mr. Palmer. K Dot, shout out to you. Uh, Corey Washer said that <laughs> that thought gremlin that just left is guilty too. Uh, Choo Choo says guilty. She's going to hell. God is to get her. Yeah, hundred percent fact. She she better repent and and and, and uh, change her life around. But a baby mama tears never change. Um, who else? Divine says fifty to the dome or doom. No cover up. Uh, well, else? Roy says guilty. Philip Reed says that Jezebel is guilty. Southeast Dago says guilty. Throw the book at her. Fred the Jammer says guilty without prejudice. Yeah, exactly. Um, well, uh, Maurice says everybody deserves a mistake. Yeah, that's true. The problem is a lot of people don't want to take accountability for their mistakes. So I, I agree with you though. Uh, Mr. O says guilty as fuck, 100%. Um, let me see. Maurice Clark says she's guilty. Rebel Zoe says guilty. And any dude that mess with that chick, <laughs> chick from the chat is guilty of enabling. <laughs> hey, you can't make this up. Then Chaka going to talk about she's spawning. Um, Charlie Hunt says TJ is a cultist. Yeah, that's basically basically about it. Everybody, you know, basically says uh, everybody says guilty. You know how I feel about being guilty. She's definitely guilty for causing all this havoc, trying to use the kids' pawn, taking his assets and kicking them out of his own house and take his dog and his $50,000. So you know me, I sentenced her to a lifetime in jail without the possibility of parole and to that brother tj i like to say i hope you continue to stand your ground get your knowledge from pastor dow that's who you um who you um you know who you go to that's cool i hope pastor dow coming to the platform can talk to us on a spiritual aspect when it comes to fathers dealing with the baby mama terrorism because all this stuff is in the bible for real it's in the quran and everything else but the funny part is they won't talk about that because it in, it affects their collection plate. And that's why I say once again, fellas. You've been had. You've been took. You've been hoodwinked. Bamboozled. Yes, 100%. So, you know, you, you just can't make this up. 
But uh, I appreciate y'all tuning in. This was a good um, a good dialogue. Some for y'all to realize that it, this ain't going nowhere. It's not going to change. So we as men got to change the laws in our mind. Women, we got to change the laws in our mind because government daddy going to be here. Feminism going to be here. You know, uh, these 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 fake want to be queens going to be here. We have to change ourselves and come to a high high level. We got to get ourselves in order all the way. That's why I kept this head switched it up. Save yourselves. You have to save yourself. You have to. Um, any last word, perfect blackness, before I get back on the couch? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, look, man, I, I, I do hope I do hope that you're successful and they were getting one of the getting a baby mama terrorist on here, you know, so she can uh, uh, you know yeah. state her case. But I would love I would love to have one of the other ladies on here, not just because you because I'm pretty sure we, there's no shortage of guys entering the black man's would love to eat that up. But I would like to have one of the ladies on here, one or two of the ladies on here, really, you know, a grill in as opposed to the men. Because again, the, it, the women are gonna have to be the one to uh to rein these to rein these uh, uh these BMTs in. They're gonna have to be the ones to put to rein them in. Because white society, they're not gonna do it. They love it. They're loving every bit of this. Right. Okay? They're loving every bit of this. Black women, you're gonna have to be the ones to 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 rein this in. So I hope you are successful in getting you know, uh, getting getting the BMT on here who don't mind, can't wait to find their next victim to uh, to pull through the court system. Right, hundred percent. Because I told you, anybody can come on here. That's why I let her say what she say, talk do whatever. I don't. I'm not, not, not gonna get off. Let you get off, and I'm gonna talk now. You gonna let you show yourself? Yeah. Other than that, I got. I'm, I'm gonna get on out of here. So you gotta I, go I gotta, right. Uh, no, I do have to do so. Do basically like a like an intervention. So. Okay, yeah, okay. Well, I'll definitely holler at you later. Uh, uh, Blackness, appreciate you as always. I'm you glad. can call me, you can call me the one you well, not yeah, yeah, you can call me like around after 5 30 or so. Cool, got you, got you. All right, all right, brother, be safe. All right, man. All right, hey, Charlene, anything you want to say for we, you know, I get off back on the couch? Um, I just wanted to say, I know I come on here and I store controversy or whatnot. But I appreciate you <laughs> having me on the panel. It's all good. You know? <laughs> I just come here to bring a different scope of things, you know. Yeah, I just I, want people to take yeah, mm -hmm. the ability for the actions. That's it. But right. thank you for having me. And I appreciate oh, yeah, yeah, it. Everybody's not going to agree with everything somebody <laughs> said to me. So that's how I do it. Uh, appreciate you, Charlene. Um, Miss 26 9. Yes, sir. Anything you want to say before I get back on the couch? Uh, I just thank you guys for having me. I thank you for allowing me in, in your in your live. This is my first live, so I really appreciate that. And I'm all for you guys. Um, I have a son who has a baby mama terrorist, and uh, you know I'm trying my best not to have him go through stuff that he shouldn't be going through. Yeah. So I really appreciate your platform. I, I definitely appreciate it. I, I got your email. I told you if you can, because that that show like three or four hours. If you could. Well, let me know the time frame when uh, when they talk about the B BMT, then I can go and look at it and I can cut it and clip it and talk about it. Okay. I definitely appreciate you got the email. Yes, thank you. All right, now, I thank you. you. Bye. Essential entity, bye bye. Essential entities. Any last word? Yeah, I just want to say uh, really appreciate what you're doing. Uh, um, you know, exposing this stuff and letting everybody see how. Uh, you know how how detrimental, you know how yeah. detrimental these characteristics and these these personalities are. And then now we have the visual evidence to uh, also coincide with the statistical evidence. And I think that you know I think change is going to come when we are constantly revealing this 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 um, this this nuisance that we are all feeling and all coming in contact with, like even in our own family. So I just want to ask the chat, just you, brother, how do we handle, because I have my own special way of handling that ratchetness, that, that that crap amongst my family. I don't play no games with that. You know what I'm saying? I, they baby know when I step in the room is either you're going to exit or you're going to change that up. But right. so what are some of the key points that we can use or utilize? Because, it, you know, it, it's hard out here. The, the ratchery or the, the ratchetness is, 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 is outweighing, you know, like the, the yeah. that brother, you know, that brother, that brother who, uh, you know, made that says something to that sister and everything. They both are products of single chaotic households. And, um, you know, and, and it might 
be, you know, uh, children of the state or wards of the state. There's a lot of stuff. So I always want to ask, how do how can we create a code, a conduct? You know, we already know what's appropriate, but how can we like reinforce some type of code of conduct? Be like, yo, listen, we this is what we stand by, and anything outside of this will not be tolerated. Hundred percent facts. As always, I appreciate you. I appreciate your support. I even appreciate appreciate the logic, uh, knowledge, and logic when we talk on the phone, brother. So I take heed to a lot of stuff that you say. Uh, face facts, man. Any last word as you? Uh, oh, you say you on the couch. Like you ain't driving down in New York. <laughs> What's good? Yeah. Now I'm on. I'm on the road today, but I'm gonna call it early. But listen, you know my situation, and you know what I'm waiting for. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, I, I was looking at your email this morning. I was reading it. Looking at it on the email. I was going back looking at a lot of emails. Um, I got to finish up, too. Uh, appreciate you and your, uh, your knowledge that you bring here. We're definitely going to change the laws in a lot of people's minds. Everybody's not going to change, and that's, that's just what it is. So the ones that do want to change, we have to separate ourselves from them. Go ahead, Face. Yeah. Only thing I'm going to ask for you is make sure that you clip that up because that needs to be a, a viral video. Yeah. Yeah. Most definitely. You got my number also, so say no more. Say no more. Now, I'm talking about the troll. I ain't talking about me. You talking about the troll? Yeah, man. That 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 needs to be clipped and edited and oh oh to that, the manosphere. You talking about that? The one what we just saw? Oh yeah. Say no more. Say no more. And anybody else want to clip it? You more than welcome. Yeah. Hundred percent. Say no more. <laughs> Who would have thought, bro? I'm not surprised though. I'm not surprised at all. There's gonna be more Bay Mama terrorists and 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 and, and uh uh sell out ass jigaboos coming on here doing the same thing. It, it, I mean, but you more than welcome. I'm just not gonna. I'm not gonna block you. <laughs> no, I'm not. So yeah, y'all definitely need to take the clip, put it out there, share it and everything. I'm gonna do it as well. Put it on Instagram. Put it. Put on YouTube, put it on, send it to the world star, whoever. You know, um, the real Southeast. You know, what's your IG, bro? My bad. But yeah, uh, face, we definitely gonna talk, bro. And I, yeah, I'm definitely gonna, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna clip it, I'm gonna clip it ASAP. <laughs> but yeah, uh, all, all right, right, face. So doing what you do you know you know you on the right you know you're on the right path when you get those in there so oh yeah oh yeah man appreciate you uh to the fullest bro i'll holler at you uh, and i'll see you tomorrow i will be live tomorrow I'll talk about what i don't know yet but it will be <laughs> very interesting all right brother man you just can't make this up man i want to give a shout out to uh tj clemens for telling his story I want to give a shout out to Pastor Dow for putting it also on his platform. Hopefully, people who uh, follow him and, and talk to him will talk to him, may possibly have him come on the show. We talk on the spiritual aspect of men's uh, equality and, and, and kids being disobedient or manipulated and, and baby mama terrorism and the family, the family structure and everything. And other, and like I say, anybody else that, that have other, uh, what's going on? Anybody else that got other... Um, like the Iman, anybody other face, you willing to uh, come on? Let's do it. Let's definitely do it. But I will say at the end of the day, I have 211 likes. I have two dislikes. I wasn't surprised about a dislike because you're going to have some cable stem sucker, some bay mama terrorist, anti, you know, anti men and, 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 you know, feminist fake queen would definitely do. So that's cool. So without further ado, I, uh, appreciate the dislike because the dislike just take it somewhere in the algorithm. So, you know, I ain't pressing none really the buttons, but I do appreciate you to the fullest. So shout out to you for the dislike. Kiss my ass. You don't like it. 100%. So yes, I'm Mr. Palmer and this conversation is over. Y'all know what it is. Mm. Child support. Peace. <laughs> Baby mama terrorist. BMT. Is my baby, baby mama, mama terrorist. Almost child support. Fuck child support. Peace. Baby mama terrorist.
DMT. It's my baby mama, almost y'all support. Can't see my kids, so I stay in coat. It's my baby mama, she be riding Lexus, finding sugar daddies, and doing setups. It's my baby mama, almost y'all support. Can't see my kids, so I stay in coat. It's my baby mama, she be riding Lexus, finding sugar daddies. And doing setups. Mm. It's my baby mama. Terrorist. I'm on child support. Can't see my kids. kids. So I stay in coat. coat. It's my baby mama. Terrorist. She be riding Lexus. Lexus. Finding sugar daddies. Mm. And doing setups. Wow. It's my baby mama. Terrorist. I'm on child support. Pope. Can't see my kids. kids. So I stay in coat. coat. It's my baby mama. Terrorist. She be riding Lexus. Lexus. Finding sugar daddies. Oh. And doing setups. Mm. Riding around, try to play the Romans, innocent with an evil soul. In public, wearing fake hair lows, behind closed doors, she rocked them horns. I moved on, she wanna teach me a lesson. Can't see my kids, man, man, I'm stressing. Couldn't see my son to give me his present. She got married to teach me a lesson. Telling people she did nothing wrong. Knowing that well since I moved on. Thought that money would keep me home. Hell not, nah, hell not, nah, bitch, I'm gone. I don't know what you lost your mind. Try to say my name, but I know your kind. Saying I'm a deadbeat, bitch, you lying. Fighting in court, man, man, I'm trying. To be a father to my kids. She focused on the wrong shit Worried about another bitch Instead of us called co parent Put my kids in grown folks' business Telling them lies, bitch, bitch, you wicked Split personality, oh yeah, you twisted Never thought I'd go through this It's my baby mama, I'm on child support Can't see my kids, so I stay in coat It's my baby mama, she be riding Lexus Finding sugar daddies and doing setups It's my baby mama, I'm on child support can't see my kids, so I stay in coat. It's my baby mama, she be riding Lexus, finding sugar daddies, and doing setups. It's my baby mama, almost y'all support. Can't see my kids, so I stay in coat. It's my baby mama, she be riding Lexus, finding sugar daddies, and doing setups. It's my baby mama, almost y'all support. Can't see my kids, so I stay in coat. It's my baby mama, she be riding Lexus, finding sugar daddies, and doing setups. This for the third dislike that I just got. I don't give a fuck what you think, bitch. And any other dislike that I get. I don't give a fuck what you think, bitch.